Hey everyone, I'm Cosmic. Welcome back to another stream. Today we are playing Splatoon 1, hopefully. Hopefully we get games. I, I might switch to Splatoon 3 if it ends up being, like, really hard to match with people. Um, or we might end up doing, like, a private battle if you get a ton of people. It's it's kind of, we're just going to play it by ear. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been a bit since I've streamed. Um, and I was debating between this and 3, but, you know, it's Saturday, Splatoon 1 dies on Monday. I plan to stream on Monday. I'll talk about that later um, when more people are here, but I, yeah. I, for now, sorry, got a notification. Um, for now, this is the plan to play some Splatoon 1. Hello, Michael. Hello, Drew. Going to hop right in. I'm just I'm on the the Wii U menu because that's what I use for the thumbnail. Um, so yes, that's all we're doing today. Bum, bum, bum. I know everyone talks about how good this intro is, but God, I <laughs> I don't. I really wish the other Splatoon games had a splash screen like this. It's just so it just gets you so hyped to play the game. Like it, it is not worn off. The effect has not worn off over nine years of this game. I love turning it on every time. <laughs> Oh, you just got uh, scratched? Uh, that sucks, Anti-Flow. Um, yeah, I'm lucky that all my stuff still works. My my gamepad has to be plugged in at all times, otherwise it just instantly dies. But besides that, my Wii U is um, pretty much still fully functional. But um, Yeah, I know I know a lot of people, some people, you know, sold their Wii U to buy a Switch or whatever. Um, I'm actually going to turn the volume down a bit. Um, it's unfortunate that not everyone who started with the game is going to be able to play it to the end, but... You know... I, I can, so I'm going to, and I hope I hope you can still enjoy the stream and hang out with us. Your, your gamepad doesn't work at all, that sucks. Oh my god, we got some we got some Splatoon 1 maps for sure. Hey Cosmic Cupid. Oh boy. I always part of me always still expects well, especially with the Splatoon 3 DLC now, I guess. It's it's always weird not seeing the, the Miiverse posts. Because because in Splatoon 3 you can be here and you can see them, but yeah. This is the OG hub. Oh hey Eve. Yeah, I didn't I didn't play Splatoon 1 like launch day. Um because I didn't I wasn't aware of the advertising for it. Like <laughs> I don't know. I, I saw a YouTube video of Splatoon 1 and I, I immediately went and wanted to get it because I thought it looked awesome, but I didn't I didn't know about it beforehand. Um I don't know. I didn't really <laughs> I don't remember the dates very well. I know I played the game before the first Splatfest because I remember seeing the cats and dogs like announcement in game. I don't know if I actually ever played in the cats and dogs Splatfest, um, but it's pretty much there from the start. Like I, I was there, you know, the first summer of, of 2015 of I was going to say the first summer of Splatoon. There's only one summer of 2015, but you know what I mean? Um, yeah, you want to try to just hop on in here. Um, I don't know how much luck we're going to have finding games. I was actually trying to play on like Wednesday. Um, and I was kind of getting into games. <laughs> uh, I had, I was trying to play with friends and I guess we were having more luck in Turf War than Ranked, but I would much rather play Ranked, especially with those maps. Well, Anchovy is fun, but, um, oh, I actually like Rainmaker Moray. I know M Moray's kind of like, Moray's fun now, because, you know, compared to Splatoon 3 maps, everyone's like, oh, at least Moray Towers was like experimental and fun. Moray Towers was hated for years. Um... I like the Splatoon 2 version. I'm kind of iffy on the Splatoon 1 version, but I think Rainmaker is its best mode. So we're, we're going to try and hop in here and see how well this works. Um, I don't know. Spent two years watching your partner play and hate how loud and bright it was. Yeah, then now you're way too into it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I played it as a kid, so I guess the aesthetic was always appealing to me. But, you know, it, it was, you know... The, the the kitty shooter is how some people saw it, and then it's like you play the game, and it's like, wait a minute, this is this is actually fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I I've just always thought Splatoon is cool. I I guess you know, obviously, if you're comparing it, it's like a Call of Duty. Like, it seems almost like it's trying too hard to be colorful. But I I feel like, yeah, you know, obviously, obviously, I, I very much love the game. So <laughs> it's not not something that bothers me. Yeah, no, I, I I just love the way the game looks, especially Splatoon One. Honestly, okay, we got Mori, nice. Um, something about Splatoon One, which I want to um, I'm gonna make like a video 
So I guess I, I can say for now, I'll probably reiterate this later, but um, I would like to stream on Monday because um, the game, I'm pretty sure the servers go down at 6 p.m. EST um, on Monday. So I would like to stream the final moments of the game um, and maybe sometime before that. So the, the eclipse is that day. There's actually, there's like a um, full solar eclipse, I think it is. Um, and I'm actually like in a very good spot to look at that. So <laughs> I'd like to watch the eclipse in real life. Um, but I would also like to stream Splatoon. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to schedule that out. But um, <laughs> yes, I would like to. I would like to play Splatoon on Monday, um, but obviously just get a little more in today. But it hurts. Oh god. Um, but yeah, I, I was gonna say, um... I will turn that stream then into a video. You know, I, I wanna make like a final tribute thing to Splatoon 1. Um, which might end up just being kinda like a funny moments thing, which... Like, <laughs> you know, I, I just, I wanna have, you know, just some last minute fun playing the game. I'm not gonna make like a whole like video essay or whatever about it, but I wanted to say some words about the game. Um, so I kinda wrote out a script. Um, and definitely just, just the look and feel of the game. Like, there's something about the atmosphere of Splatoon 1. It just feels more like a real, like, place. Like, it's hard to describe, but, like, it... I don't know. I feel like Splatoon... I still love the way Splatoon 2 and 3 look, but they feel, like, more, like, gamey in a weird way. Like, I feel like Splatoon 1 just, like... Something about the lighting and the colors, it just feels more, like, grounded. And it just genuinely feels like an actual, like... You know, just just a place to go to have fun. I don't know. Some, something about it is very nice. Oh, rip that guy. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Oh god, where? Okay, they already got all the way there. Rainmaker is speedier than I thought. Um, there we go. Oh my god. Oh, did he fall off the map? <laughs> I'm not even sure what happened there. The name tag is a little weird. Um. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I, I've just kind of been talking. I haven't actually been looking that much at chat, but... <laughs> um, Mor Mori is fun. Th this I, I do still like Rainmaker on this. Uh, also, yeah, it's way smaller than the Splatoon 2 version. Like, there's just all these gaps. Like, in Splatoon 2, they, like, kind of filled in this terrain here and, like, added more stuff over here. But in this game, it is... You got, do not have much to work with. I mean, in some modes, this section is actually even smaller. It's just a little narrow path on the side. Um... Doo -doo, doo -doo. Oh god. I was trying to reach out for a second, that was bad timing. How small Splatoon 1's multiplayer OST is? Yeah, um... I guess I don't- I, I like all the songs, like, a lot, so maybe I never- it uh, never bothered me too much. I feel like there's some good variety. I mean, that's the thing Splatoon 1 music, I think... I mean, I love Splatoon 1 music, like, this multiplayer soundtrack is definitely still my favorite in the series. Um... Just, I mean, I, that is extremely nostalgia biased, but it is, it is true. Um, but <laughs> I, I don't know what, what I really like about Splatoon 1 music is that they do a lot to, um, to distinguish like genres in Splatoon 2 and 3. Like, you know, they have kind of the, um, oh God. There's like jazz, there's like ska, there's, you know, like Celtic punk or whatever. Um, there, there, there's a bunch of different stuff going on. But I feel like, for me, in Splatoon 1, it's mostly, you know, just kind of like a punk rock or like, um... I don't know what you call, like, high tight era. Like, <laughs> it's just, it's just like fun rock music or like chip tune, like chirpy chips. But all of the, like, styles are still really distinct between the bands. Like, I feel like you can hear a song and instantly know which one it is. And like, they were, you know, a lot more experimental with like, the voices. Like, I feel like there's kind of more of, like, a homogenized, like, inkling singing voice now. Like, Seaside and Wet Floor almost even sound kind of similar. Um, and even, like, the newest band, like, sounds sort of like the Idols. Like, I feel like in Splatoon 1, they just, like, did whatever. Like, <laughs> you know, Squid Squad is just, like, this weird, like... I don't even know what you call it. I don't know what they did to the vocals to make them sound like that. <laughs> but it doesn't sound like the, you know, the, the inkling vocals otherwise. Like, it just sounds like something completely different. And then, you know... Harmony from Chirpy Chips is just like a synth that it's not even like a real voice, I think. Um, so I don't know. I, there, there's things to appreciate about all of the soundtracks, but I Splatoon 1, I just like how experimental and weird a lot of it is. It just how it's just all just the vibes are so good. It's just it's just music that makes me happy. That was a scary crack. Dude, Krakens look so small in this game. Every time I see a Kraken, I'm like weirded out by how small they look. <laughs> Just because the Splatoon 3 one is so massive. Um... I don't believe the new band has the same vocalist. 
I don't really know the lore of the new band. I wasn't paying attention. I think the bassist or something was the same. I don't think it was the vocalist. Or wait, I guess the bassist does vocals also. Maybe you're correct. I don't know. I'm not really a, a splat band lore person necessarily. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, the Splatoon 1 Rainmaker was different. I forget that some people haven't uh, haven't seen that. Yeah, it was basically just like... Well, the, the Inkzooka in this game is also a tornado, and the Rainmaker is basically just a super-powered version of that. Also, I won that game. I was hard-carried by my teammates. Um, <laughs> I was way too busy talking about stuff. I might... I might uh, I'll stick with this weapon. I, I like Berry Pro. Um, someone get Rassicus, yeah. I mean, I've, I've watched all the, the videos, I just don't memorize. I know, there's some people on Twitter who, like, go crazy for, like, the super obscure Splatband characters, and, like, it's it's fun, but that's not really... <laughs> that's not my, my favorite part of the lore, by any means, but it, it is cool that it's there. I, I like Splatoon 1 Rainmaker. I... The newer Rainmaker has grown on me, just because we've had it for so long, but, um... I think my ideal Rainmaker would be something in between. I think, like, the tap shots on the newer Rainmaker is better because you, you're able to, like, actually paint a path for yourself. It's really hard to paint for yourself with the tornado, um, just, like, small bits, because if you tap, there's just, like, a ton of recoil and you it, it, it like, moves really slow and it's, it's just not very good. Um, and the tornado can get, like, weirdly, like, cut off by certain terrain. Oh, there we go. That's, that's a Mori Towers classic. Drop in, just instantly get sniped. That is my own fault, of course. I should know better by now. It's been, been well, not exactly nine years of playing on Moray, but... Uh... I was hoping I could catch the guys that climbed to the wall, but then we got flanked, because this is Splatoon 1, and that can actually happen. Is, is Warabi definitely not from the domes? Oh god. I guess Paul wouldn't be from the domes, right? Because he's like a kid. <laughs> I don't know. I, I do- I always talk about how much I love verticality in Splatoon maps, and obviously this is the- the epitome of verticality. <laughs> I don't know, something about the feeling of just like dropping down from so high up, it just feels cool. Uh, where's the Rainmaker? I got reset, okay good. Why to be related to Oct? Is that just because of the thing on the hat? Didn't- it wasn't that like a question? <laughs> I've, I've read the High Kara Walker, I thought it just said like uh... Maybe they're blood-related or something. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Or like, or maybe it's just the same brand that they like or something. I don't know. Do 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 do. Oh, nice. Okay. I feel like I'm I'm getting into the feel of the controls. I don't know. I mean, Splatoon One feels great. Like I like the gamepad, but um, oh my god. I'll try my best. Hopefully I don't get sniped. Okay. Oh, that was close. <laughs> uh, if we get up this overlook wall, please paint for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teammate. Boom. Okay, nice. Okay. So that that's something I love about Mori. I don't know if you guys were watching the score there. For anyone who doesn't know this map, um, if you get up that wall, you just get like a crazy amount of points instantly. Um, and it's... It's just a really... It's a really cool dynamic. I feel like no other map in Splatoon has really had that. Like, you have this kind of longer, safer route where you either climb up this wall or go up this ramp, but then if you manage to get up this overlook wall where the enemy has, like, you know, in theory, they're able to defend it pretty well, um, you just instantly get, like, 40 points, and it's super, super satisfying to get comebacks that way. Um, I, I genuinely love this map for Rainmaker. Oh, shoot. Nice. Okay. Ah, I got sniped. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Um, I don't- it doesn't have higher FPS, it's just the movement, like, feels smoother, um, 
And I, maybe that might be, like, <laughs> noticeable from watching. I don't know. Like, I kind of know what you mean. Um, the big thing with Splatoon 1 is that it has less... Uh, the motion controls have less input delay. So the game actually feels better to, like, aim. <laughs> oh god. In, it feels better in Splatoon 1 than any of the sequels. Uh, oh boy, Kraken. Oh my god. Ah, yep. <laughs> but... Um... The FPS can actually tank in this game. Like, if someone, if, if like, two bomb rushes are going off at once, like, the, the game will slow down. <laughs> like, it's noticeable. Um, it's almost like, you know, like, when things get crazy in Salmon Run. Um, whoa. Um. But, yeah, no, I, I think, I think it still runs at 60 FPS, which Splatoon 2 and 3 also do, in theory. I know this guy right there. Shoot. I'm pretty sure this is the tallest map ever, yeah. Oh, shoot. Uh, between between a Kraken and a Rainmaker, it's not a good place to be. Oh my god. Nope. <laughs> Do I have... Um, I'm not wearing Quick Respawn. That might be a good thing to have in Rainmaker. Especially on this map. <laughs> do, 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 do. Whoa there, whoa there. Stop that. Uh, okay, our teammate has a bubbler. Hopefully you can stop the Rainmaker there. Oh, shoot, he died. Um, this is actually kind of bad. They're close to going to come back here. Uh, he only has 17 seconds. Okay, and we just gotta paint, we just gotta paint in front of him. Nice! Cool. This game is fun, dude. This game is fun. <laughs> I don't know, I- normally when I come back to Splatoon 1, I have fun, but, um... Oh, bye, Michael. Uh... The gamepad feels kind of weird, because my hands, like, I, just, I think I kind of, like, outgrew it. Like, it used to feel better in my hands, and now I feel like it feels a little clunky, but right now, I don't know if it's just how I'm sitting because of where my mic is, like, positioned, but it, it feels better, actually. I feel like I am, uh... I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm getting into it. This is good. Uh, I, I want to switch weapon. The, the annoying thing about Splatoon 1 is you do have to back out to switch your weapon. There's no, like, you know, continue and switch your gear. Um... But yeah, I'm gonna do QR. It would be good for Rainmaker. I don't want to play just like, <laughs> you know. I I did like the splatter shot in this game, especially the um, wasabi. Actually, you know what? Let, let's do the ten attack because this is the old Zuka. This is actually it's it's suction bomb Zuka. This is um, the Splatoon, Splatoon three version. Well, kind of. Obviously, the the Zuka is different. Oh, I should have played the Octo shot actually because it's just <laughs> the cooler version. But that's fine. No, do, 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 do. Rain refuses to use the gamepad for map. Yeah, it's um, I I play. You know, I've come back to Splatoon one often enough that I can adjust pretty easily. But it is, it is funny. I know people always get messed up by um the jump button switching because in Splatoon two and three you press B to jump, in Splatoon one you press X. But it's just the it's the face button that's closest to the right stick, which is how I remember it. So I I feel like it makes sense. Also, we, we have been... Oh, there we go. Okay, we did get a game. It does seem like people are on. I mean, it's the last, you know, the last Saturday of Splatoon 1. Last weekend, so... It makes sense that people are getting on now. I guess people are probably going to be busy Monday, but... It is nice to see. Oh, Urchin Rainmaker, dude. This is fun. I love all the music in this game so much. Oh boy. That paint's up there, that's kind of weird. Um, yeah, so this is Urchin. For anyone who doesn't know, the first map in the series. Although it did get reworked, um, pretty significantly. But... Yeah. I, l I like this map. I think it's a little... I don't want to say it's overhyped. I mean, it's a very good map, but... Um... Personally, I don't know if I would, like... Some people really wanted this to come back in Splatoon 3. Maybe it was, like, the last map, and maybe it will, for all we know. Oh, shoot. I wouldn't be disappointed to see it back. Um... It was never one of my favorites, honestly, in Splatoon 1. But it's not bad. I just... <laughs> the, the, the heights of Splatoon 1 map design are so high that even a map as good as Urchin... Um... Personally, for me, is not, like, a super favorite, but it, it would be cool to see it again. Salt Spray Rig. 
Salty Rig is funny. Um, I don't see them bringing it back completely unchanged, because that's just so different from how they design maps now. Um, which obviously partly is why it would be fun, but... I don't know. I, I'm kind of indifferent on Salt Spray. I think it's fun, but it, it does just totally not work on some of the modes. Uh, so I wouldn't really blame them for changing it quite a bit. Or just leaving it out entirely, really. Can you, oh, you can swim on this. See, this is the thing I feel like people don't talk about... Oh my god. <laughs> a lot with Splatoon 1. Is like... You could just ink everything. Like, there would just be little weird pieces of terrain. Like, even things like this. Like, I, I feel like... Part of what I don't like about the Splatoon 3 maps is just, like, not even the overall shape, but just, like, it feels like the maps are made out of, like, blocks on a grid a lot of the time. Whereas in Splatoon 1, there would just be, like, objects. Like, this is just, like, a, a highway bumper, and you could just swim on it. Like, <laughs> there's not really good reason to. I mean, here there is. Like, this is, you know, that's movement. That's gameplay. Um, <laughs> but it just, it, it combines aesthetics and gameplay in a way I feel... Splatoon 3 doesn't a lot of the time. Um, and, and it's something I miss. And sometimes it can lead to things being a little, like, jankier. Like, um, on the Splatoon 1 version of Bluefin, there's, like, a staircase out of spawn. And you can ink the whole staircase and you can swim on it, but it, it doesn't... It, it kind of functions like a ramp, but not exactly, because it literally... Like, it, the collision for it actually is a staircase. So you, like, sometimes they'll be swimming up it and you'll, like, awkwardly swim up one of the stairs and kind of flop around. And it's a little weird, but, like... You know, it feels more like a real world. Like, it's... Th there's a... An argument to be made for and against it, I'd say. But I, I, I just like how... Um... It, it feels more lived in that way. It feels less like a video game level. Yeah, yeah, you can... I mean, painting the car in Splatoon 2 was just... Like, that was an actual piece of cover you could use. The trees are kind of just fun. Like, <laughs> there's no reason to do this at all. Um, but I, I do like it. Oh. Did that... I? I got two hits on him on the right, and then he just appeared on the left. That was... Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, hello, 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 sir. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, shoot. I was hoping the bubble would run out sooner than it did. Uh, we're still... Okay, we, we're holding the lead. Hold on the lead. Yeah. I mean, it was like I was saying earlier. Like, something about it just feels more, like, real. <laughs> like, I, I like the more grounded lighting. I like that it just feels more like... real locations. Like, it's partly the... Oh, God. I think it's it's largely the lighting, I think, is what makes the vibe so different, because I feel like the textures and everything, like... Some of it is the character models, some of it is the lighting. Um, and just, like, the matte look of the ink, too. It's not, like, super reflective and shiny, which I just, like, for gameplay reasons, like, I just think it's easier to read the ink in this game. Um... Splatoon 3, I think, is fine. Uh, Splatoon 2 ink, I think, looks really bad. Um... Oh god. So the fun thing with Kraken in this game... Okay, well, we just killed it. <laughs> um, Krakens don't have the charge attack in this game, which I, I like the charge attack, but, um, you know, kind of the, the counterplay to Kraken is that when you shoot it, you deal a ton of knockback to it. And in Splatoon 3, that doesn't really work because they can just do the charge attack and negate all that. Um, but in this game, you can actually, like, push Krakens away, and it, it can actually be really fun to, like, outplay them and then kill them when it runs out. Just if you could shark in the trees. I think... There's some trees you can climb up the sides of. Or maybe they, like, got rid of that when they reworked the map, I'm not sure. Oh, bye, Drew. Thanks for chilling. Yeah, I mean, the... I, lo I love the music. I will always love the multiplayer music the most in this game. Um, I actually didn't realize... Rotation is right now, but okay. Um... Walleye, okay. Triggerfish! I'm happy about Triggerfish. I love... I love the look and feel of Triggerfish. 
Um, we're just gonna hop right back in. <laughs> oh, you were saying by- oh, sorry, my bad. By- by Eve. Oh, I- yeah, there we go. Li Linio Eve is the same person. Um... Yeah, let's just go in. I hope- I, I don't love Walleye. Walleye's okay. I, I don't miss Walleye that much, but I love Cam Triggerfish. Am I joinable? Um, I'm doing ranked right now. If we get people in here who could do a PB, um, we could do one. I'm not under the impression that most people... I don't know. I don't know. If anyone watching has a Wii U and wants to join, you could... Let me know. <laughs> Most people were saying that they could not play, but... Do, 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 do. <clears throat> why are you seeing so many people? I mean, the servers go down in two days. <laughs> that would be why. Now is the time. Put him, put him. Oh god. Yeah, I mean the thing with people joining... I would really rather play the ranked modes. Like, Turf War, you know, Splatoon 1 is fun regardless, but... I don't know. I don't really want to play Turf War, so... <laughs> it's harder to actually join up with people. Um, unless we have enough for like a full private battle. Um, if you are S+, plus, <laughs> you could always just queue into ranked and hope we get matched together, because it's not that unlikely right now. How do you update a game on Wii U? Oh, I know... I think Smack had to do that, too. Um, <laughs> and he was also struggling with it. I, I think it is weird. It's supposed to do it automatically, I think. Um, so maybe just try, like, reopening the game? I'm not sure. Oh, right. Tower on Camp Triggerfish is, like... Kind of stupid. <laughs> I think it's fun, personally. Um, I know for, like, competitive it was horrible, because it just goes over the water. And it's like, if you're on the tower, you're kind of just screwed. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, the, the single player is still playable. I... It should be. Um, no, it, it definitely will be. I mean, there's no reason it wouldn't be. Uh, which, by the way, <laughs> I really, 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 really love the Splatoon 1 single player. I, I've talked about it before, but like, I, it, it's maybe my favorite gameplay-wise in the series. I think it is incredibly underrated. I think people... Either I have a really weird opinion, or people just don't remember how good it is. Because <laughs> I, I literally think it is the, like... I think Octo Expansion... I, I think Splatoon 1 and Octo Expansion are like two sides of the same coin. Where Splatoon 1 just has this like... Really good consistent level design and just like... Amazing movement and just like... This really like... Satisfying like momentum to its levels. Whereas Octo Expansion like intentionally slows down the pace and kind of just does creative things with the game's mechanics. Kind of for more like puzzle solving. Or like, you know, just kind of more... Um slower paced like like levels where you just have to kind of figure out what to do um and i think those are fantastic and then in my mind splatoon 2 and alternate are just worse versions of splatoon 1 and octo expansion <laughs> and side order is kind of just something on its own but like i as far as like the traditional level structure um for splatoon i think splatoon 1 is the best in the series i i love splatoon 1's campaign i've replayed it countless times i i genuinely think way more people <laughs> should be aware of it because I feel like no one talks about it ever, and I think it is so good. Yeah, I mean, story is a whole other discussion. Um, I would easily say Octo Expansion is the best story in my own opinion, but, <laughs> you know, I, I don't really play Splatoon 1 for the story, and I, I love the lore and story of Splatoon, but it's like... I mean, the lore is good, the scrolls are amazing. Spl Splatoon 1 actually gives us most of the fundamental world building of the series. Oh my god. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, it's not, it's not like a plot thing. <laughs> Why are you shooting me? Shooting, I don't know who they're shooting at. We're trying our best, dude. Um, 
Oh, I love, I love this too, like the totems. There's not a super good reason to go up there like that, but I just... I just love how much weird stuff was inkable, you know? You're not just painting like blocks and walls, you're painting objects. That's what I miss about Splatoon 1 maps. Oh my god! Well, I'm surprised I made it out of that whale alive. I honestly thought I was gonna be dead. Oh, hello. Why are you here? <laughs> oh, there we go. Also, yeah, you can't say ouch in this game when you die, so people will just spam booyah to, <laughs> to mean that there's a person on them. It's 28 tweet thread about what it means to you, wow. Oh my god. Um... I have an H3 who's like pushing way too far up, but I might jump to them? Do I have stealth? I don't have stealth. Okay, that's actually probably a bad idea. I should put on stealth jump, because it's tower control. Um... Shoot, okay, we really got to stop that push. Um... Oh my god. This is not gonna go well, this is not gonna go well. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Me when I get shot and explode, booyah. Yeah, pr pretty much. The servers will shut down and you will die in A rank? I mean, you got, what, like 48 plus a couple hours to get on that grind? Y yeah, I mean, A, a plus maybe you could reach if you tried. <laughs> if you can queue into games, that is, which I'm not sure you would be able to. Do do do. Yeah, I'm. Side order did some things I liked. Um, the actual story was very whatever. <laughs> um, but I like the character writing. I like Oct a lot. Um, obviously Pearl and Marina are fun. I I want to make a video talking about it. So. <laughs> I do like lesbians. <laughs> yeah, that's. I mean, that's pretty much. I really like the lesbians. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, it's just because it, that's what Side Order is. I mean, it's just fun character writing, but the actual plot is like, I think Order. You could pretty easily order argue that Order is the worst villain in the series. I, I think Grizz bothers me more because I I didn't really like how it turned out, but um, Order is just so like nothing. <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah, I mean. So I, I'm okay with Oct. I know a lot of people think Oct should have done more in the story, but I, I've kind of, I don't know. I, I've thought about it and written some things that I will may may appear in a video at some point. I want to do a video about sanitization, um, basically. Couldn't we? Um, squad battles are kind of dead, unfortunately. We could try. Um, every time I've tried squad battle, including earlier this week, we just could not find any games at all. But. I guess, I mean, I think a lot more people are on today than I've, like, ever seen since, like, the game died, so, um, it's a possibility. We <laughs> were, I, I, I don't think we're getting two more waves. I know that's the joke, but I, <laughs> I really don't think we are. I mean, I get why people want a better deep cut story. I just, I think it was Return of the Mammalians. I know they weren't <laughs> the guides. I know they weren't very well written in it, but I, I just don't think, I just think that's what their story is. <laughs> it's, it's just unfortunate, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe Splatoon 4 DLC. I, I don't know. Wave 3 if I cope enough. I I don't even know what I would want Wave 3. Because I think a lot of people are like... <laughs> I, I, some of the cope I've seen is like, guys, it's Splatoon 3, they're doing the 3 motif, everything is 3, so we have to get 3 DLCs. But what they don't realize is that the 2 DLCs gave us 2 additional hub worlds for a total of 3. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure that's what they're going for. That's pretty much what they explicitly said, actually, in that recent... um side order interview, the Famitsu interview, they were like, yes, we have three towns because of the motif of three. So I, I really do not think we're getting more. Do 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 do. 
I mean, they were cool in their boss fights. I just, you know, their arc, I think, is kind of stupid. <laughs> that they're just like... They just instantly switch to your side. I don't know. I, I just... It didn't really do much for me. I, I get why people like Deep Cut. They're just... They don't do a lot for me. I mean, I, I am, you know... The Octo Expansion Brain Rot guy, and I got all my fan service inside orders, so... <laughs> easy, easy for me to say. Please. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, that's... That's kind of why I've come to terms with order. Like, I, I think I mentioned this on another stream, or maybe I did... I mentioned this somewhere. <laughs> don't know if it was a YouTube comment or Twitter or a YouTube stream, but I... Um... I think it was a YouTube comment, but it was like... Grizz... The story of Return of the Mammalians, and Grizz especially, like, was... Trying to do a lot of things. I think it was very ambitious. I think it just kind of tried to do too much. And in my opinion, like, it, I know some people like it. I know, I, I know <laughs> there's uh, people in chat right now saying how much they like it, so I don't want to, like, hate on it. Um, oh yeah, you can super jump as a Kraken in this game. Um, but I think it would try to be very ambitious, and for me, I, I didn't really like the way a lot of this stuff panned out. Whereas Side Orders isn't trying to be this crazy thing. Like, Order is just not an ambitious villain. They weren't trying to make Order interesting and failed, they just weren't trying. <laughs> and, like, I think once you realize that, it becomes easier to kind of... You know, <laughs> I'm still a little disappointed, I would say, but... It's not the same thing where it's like... I don't think Order does anything to worsen the lore of the game, it just doesn't do a lot to make it better. <laughs> Whereas... I think Grizz could be saved. I think if they just give us some more details about Grizz, then I wouldn't be so bothered, but I... I'm still just iffy on Grizz. I think Grizz is interesting. I mean, it's so... This is, this is a Splatoon 1 stream, and we're still talking about Grizz. I always talk about Grizz. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh god. Yeah, oh god. Jeez. Oh yes, yeah, swim speed. Yep, yeah, they have swim speed. Swim speed, I think, I think that works on Kraken. It felt like it was working on that Kraken. Uh, that is not a thing in Splatoon 3. Do do oh my god. Yeah, we're probably not winning this game. Um <laughs> unless we get on the tower and start picking up the pace here. Yeah, I, I think like Grizz Grizz thematically, I appreciate what they were trying to do. I just it, it comes down to the details. I just don't really like his moment to moment writing. I don't really feel like his backstory is fleshed out. Um it's all of that stuff. I I like overall oh my god. I oh I lived. No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I did not. I don't know why I'm going up here. This is probably not the place to be. I should be charging the Zuka more. Oh, and I'm marked and I'm dead. Wow. GG. Um, I might switch off this weapon. I don't know if this is the best thing to go into these maps with. I'm also just bad at the game, but yeah. <laughs> oh god. Oh, that's a Kraken. Hey, want to get knocked back? Hey, Kraken. Oh, oh, he's running away. He's running away. Shoot the bomb. He got me. <laughs> That's a very classic Splatoon 1 interaction. Oh, there's a chance. No, there's not. Uh, there is. There's a very small chance. There's a very minuscule chance. That guy died. I'm going to get sniped by this bento. Yep. GG. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to go on the whole rant right now. Um, if you've seen Rasikis, Rasikis's, um side order video, they kind of talked about some of their issues with Return of the Mammalians at the end of it, and that's I pretty much share the same issues as them. I just think, like, Alterna is really cool as an idea for a setting, but just the way 
there's just too much that goes unexplained. It, it like, why are the kettles there? Why is the army there? How did Grizz just kidnap an entire army? You know, Grizz being, I know he's not really a bear. He's a weird like goo amalgamate, but they just like don't explain why he's intelligent or why he can speak or why, you know, and like his, his plan just doesn't really make sense because he doesn't actually successfully turn anything into like real mammals. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it it all comes down to the details but there's so many details that just aren't there that it 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 just kind of ruins it for me but um oh here let's let's play dual squelcher why not this is um something unique to this game technically it's kind of similar it's like a better nova basically um this was before they split it into the two dualies um <laughs> I wouldn't say, I mean, I don't think Return of the Marillions is gameplay focused, though. I mean, it is. Like, every, every Splatoon game, obviously, is more gameplay focused than story, but, like, with the alternate logs, and, like, they were they were trying to do something with Grizz. I mean, I under, I understand that. I just think it's, like, if they wanted to make him kind of this, like, insane, you know, like, totally lost, like, devastated, desperate person, I think that would have been interesting, but I don't really think they leaned into that enough. And I think a lot of it is the, um, the English localization, because I think they did lean into that more in the Japanese version. Um, I think the, the CEO puns, <laughs> I think, kind of ruin that for me, because there, there's just this weird tonal dissonance between what he's doing and what he's saying in like every scene he's in. I, I really do think a lot of that is due to the English translation, but I it, I just don't know if he's a joke or if I'm supposed to take him seriously and I don't really understand his mental state. Like I, again, like thematically, I like him. I just think his writing is not good. Uh, okay, I mean, we, we could try Alina. Um, I'll give it a shot after this game. Sorry, I just saw that message. Yeah, I, I, I heard about that. The good work is so much better as a final line. I mean, I honestly, I think, I hope Rasikis, I, I know they mentioned doing um a similar video to their Commander Tartar video where they go through and compare the translations or the, you know, the, the Japanese script to the English one. Um, I really hope they do that for Grizz, because I, I think it would probably make me like Grizz a lot more. <laughs> um, so I, I look forward to that, if they do that. Um, I still have issues with his lore not really being as solid as it should be, but... You know. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard because for me... The details are always what made me love Splatoon. Like, I think it's... You can look at it and be like, Oh, you know, I'm being super pedantic, and that stuff doesn't really matter because it's just about the message of the campaign and what they were trying to convey with the character. And, like, I, I assume, um, you know, that's for you, Octo, like, that makes sense. That, like, there, obviously there are things that are appealing there and that I do like, and that's probably just what's important to you in the story. And I, I respect that. But it's like, in the other Splatoon stories... It was always the details that kind of made the stories so interesting, like, you know, having the context of human extinction and the relationship between the Inklings and Octolings and the history of Splatoon's world makes Tartar so much more, like, interesting. Like, it gives him so much more depth knowing that that was going on behind the scenes while everything else was happening. Also, wow, I totally fumbled that tower jump. Um... So, I think I think it's just, you know, different parts of the stories appeal to different people and they wrote Splatoon 3 in a different way that for me didn't work as well, but I, oh god. I still, I still like all of this, the games and the stories and respects, you know. I get it, it just, it, it didn't, that, I, that's why it didn't work as well for me, I think, basically. Oh god. Oh, they have a jump here. Uh, shoot. 
this is this is going very badly probably because i'm talking about lore more than focusing on the game which which is very normal very typical for the stream but <laughs> Uh, oh boy. And please get a real job. Please, I'm out of ink, I'm out of ink, I'm gonna die to that blaster or that charger or just, it looked like both, honestly. Um, <laughs> I do love Camp Triggerfish. I maybe don't love Camp Triggerfish Tower Control, if I'm being honest with you guys. <laughs> I, I love the aesthetic of the map, I love it on Zones and Rainmaker. Maybe not the best map for Tower Control in the world, especially in Splatoon 1. Uh, okay. Echo really does not help us much on this map, because it's just like, oh, there's a guy on the other side. Can I do anything about him? Nope. <laughs> I, okay, I was going to say, that guy had like 10 chances to kill me while I was approaching him. I was surprised it took that long. <laughs> no, 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 I... I'm always scared that I'm being too mean, Octo, so I... <laughs> no, trust me, I... I think it's fun. I think I'm, I'm glad that there are different takes and different opinions in the community. I, I'm always looking for reasons to appreciate Splatoon 3 more, so... Um, oh god, I... I you, you are good. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's, it's basically just a refill ink button um, for a lot of weapons. Okay, I'm I'm gonna switch weapons. Speaking of, because I <laughs> actually I'm gonna try to um try to join Eilina in squads. Maybe maybe squads are alive. We'll get we'll give it a shot at least. <laughs> do, 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 yeah, there's no ink rail. No no ink rails in multiplayer in Splatoon one. No no. Splatoon 1 music is is rough. It really just makes you feel like you are a complete and utter failure. Oh wait, Eileen, are we friends on Wii U? <laughs> I don't know if we are friends. <laughs> um Yeah, yeah, you can you can drop in the server, uh, the thread. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to read all the chat right now. Um, I guess we never friended each other. I don't know. We um, we I mean, I think we played some PBs. I also I don't yeah I don't have Dan added. Um. <laughs> oh wait, it's it, well, it's not a friend code in Splatoon. I mean, you probably know that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you can just like DM it to be on Discord or something. Um, um. Yeah, I mean gameplay. Gameplay is a whole other conversation. I, I personally just don't like <laughs> alternate levels all that much, um, which I know is kind of a hot take. I, I really just, I think they're the low of the series. Um, which. A lot of people would argue with that because Splatoon 2's campaign exists, but I, I don't know. They just, they just didn't do it for me. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just, it's like your username, your NNID. We do okay. I mean, the, a couple of people are talking about being on um, Dark Heart and Sanic Dude. I mean, we could try and do a private battle. Um, okay, so I'm going to, don't worry, Alina, I, I will not dox you. Um, <laughs> here, let's, we're going to turn that off for now. Um, <laughs> so I can add Alina. Well, I know it's not your real, I, I don't know. <laughs> this feels like the better thing to do.
Okay, I guess I would probably have to add other people. Um... <laughs> When are we in 15 stars fire shot? It's it's going to happen. Um, you know, I, I just have to actually play it enough that I'm getting close to 15 star. Because uh, I'm not going to make the video on like every single game, obviously. So we're going to we're going to try to do a twin squad. I really have no idea if. Yeah, we'll, we'll give it a shot uh, here. I'll, I guess I can make one um, or I think you said you were already in one, but I you probably backed out to yeah whatever. Um, <laughs> we'll give this we'll give this a shot. Um, <laughs> this might be a good idea. Let's try this. Yeah, parallel cannons interesting. I I'm tempted to say it's just not that deep. <laughs> like as much as people don't want to hear it, I think it's uh. Well, I know Rasicus, because a lot of people were talking about the idea of Agent 4 being like the strongest inkling because Order thought that, but Order thought that because Agent 4 was registered as security in the Memverse. So that doesn't mean they actually are the strongest inkling, that's just from what it knew, they knew they were like a threat. <laughs> so they based, you know, their own security off like Agent 4. Um... I, th I think that might just be it. <laughs> I think that might be the ex explanation, but I'm, I'm curious to hear other thoughts, I guess, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I've said this before. I, I'm not really, I don't have strong thoughts about Agent 4, so... <laughs> they could have done more. But I did not expect them to, and I'm not particularly disappointed, because I just, I didn't really think there would be anything. Well, hmm. I mean, it acknowledges that Thor has special attributes, but it's trying to restrain other people. Oh? We found a other twin. That is, like, more successful than any other attempt I've had trying to play squad battle in the last, like, <laughs> five years or more, probably. Do, do, do. <clears throat> Kevin and Pond the goats. If if any of you happen to have yourself and one other person <laughs> who have a Wii U in Splatoon One, feel free to to stream snipe us. <laughs> You barely played this game ranked? I'm gonna be real, the second I unlocked ranked battles in Splatoon 1, I have never really wanted to play Turf War again. <laughs> like, I've just always found them to just be a more fun version of the game. Like, you know, getting to level 10 in Splatoon 2, I probably still had fun just because everything was new, but <laughs> I, I only play Turf War for Splatfest now, really. Turvorce fly. I mean, zone zones is still zones. I don't. Know, I've, I've. I've. Again, my stance on Agent Four. Oh, we're gonna. We're gonna not make it, are we? <laughs> um. If they do anything interesting with Agent Four, then that will be cool, and then maybe I will care about Agent Four. But until they do, I just don't really care. <laughs> I'm not I'm not really disappointed in a character that barely exists continuing to not exist. 
So I, I get some people really like the design. They like their own head cannon agent four and the the like two cannon personality traits we have. But I just there's not a lot there to go off of. So I'm just naturally going to lean more towards a character like Agent Eight, who actually has like something of a backstory and their own thoughts on the world and emotions and you know cutscenes where they do interesting things. Like I, I I not you know not to knock other people's favorite agent, but that that is just why I care way more about the other ones. And even I mean again, Agent Three has very you know not much more <laughs> than agent four really so i don't know like personality wise like agent three has fan service agent three you know was sanitized and that was really cool <laughs> like i'm not trying to downplay that like that was really cool but like you know there's still not a whole lot more going on under the hood yeah i mean i i get that people are you know Stressed maybe by the idea of like having a rank or they don't want to like, you know, have to try super hard, but it's like, I guess I just never took it that seriously. Or if I did, I just thought it was fun. Um, like I'm not a super competitive person, so I'm not super burned by losing games, I guess. Um, I just think the actual game modes that appear in ranked are more fun. It would be nice if there was an unranked version of all the, those modes too. Like I, I think that should exist, but since it doesn't, I will just play ranked, because those are the ones I want to play. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Neo 3 at least has, like, cutscenes and, you know, something of a backstory. I mean, I guess Agent 4 kind of does, but, you know, the whole the scavenger aesthetic and, like, the them being from the Splatlands, like, yeah, there's there's something there. There's enough of a thread that you can start to, you know, draw your own conclusions and make headcanons and have fun with that. I just think with Agent 4, there's like, there's just nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> like, I I just don't really care about them. Where did Kevin and Pond go? Yeah, I don't know. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I mean, I guess the rank modes are harder. Um... I mean, turf is so simple, though. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I, I want something harder than turf. Switch screens and stream squid jump? You you can't do that. As far as I'm aware, there's no way to um record footage on a Wii U gamepad. I don't have a way, regardless. <laughs> No, I mean, it's it's a there's no HDMI port on a gamepad. <laughs> you definitely can't use it, you know, a normal Elgato on it. Um, I didn't I didn't actually mean to back out of that many, by the way, but. Um, are there at least two other people in chat who would be willing to join a private battle? Because we could do like two V2s. Um, Mike Maybe. <laughs> but I would. You'd be down? Okay. Okay, that's one. Plus Eilina, so, so we have two. Plus me is three, <laughs> obviously. Um, we have one other person who would be willing to do two V2s. Well, Eilina, we were about to play ranked anyway. Okay, um, maybe for now I'll stick to ranked, but maybe in a bit we can try that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't want to just be sitting on a menu for like half the stream, so I'd like to play something here, but... I mean, we could also just try 1v1s for now. <laughs> I actually used to... You know what? You know what? For nostalgia's sake. Let's try it, because I used to, um, actually, I'm going to have to friend Sanic, dude, so hang on. <laughs> but I, I used to play um, Rainmaker 1v1s with one of my friends. And that, like, that's one of my, like, most consistent memories playing Splatoon 1. Like, I actually did a lot of 1v1s in Splatoon 1, which I know is kind of weird. Um, but they were very fun. Or do you know, I, I'm going to have to do that, Eilina. <laughs> scary. I don't know. Okay, let's... Hmm. 
since since I don't have people added or anything, for now I'm just gonna stay with ranked. I, I know I'm very indecisive. <laughs> I just want to play some games. Um, where would you send it? Um, I mean, you could send it in chat if you don't want other people to see it. I guess you could send it on Discord. Um, in Splatoon chat or just wherever. Do 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 do. But yeah, I mean, Nintendo Network ID will be unusable in two days, so <laughs> guess it doesn't really matter who gets their hands on it too much. Having to get your sibling to beat Octavio. So my my story with Splatoon One single player is that somehow. I didn't know you could upgrade stuff and like for all the times I've replayed it now, they tell you you can upgrade stuff like 20 times. Like, I don't know how I was so blind or just like refused to like read or like I, I don't know how I didn't know. There's also constantly while you're in the hub world, a button on screen that says upgrade gear, but I did not know you could upgrade anything somehow. So I made it through the entire game up to Octavio with no upgrades, which now, now of course, I do for fun, <laughs> but at the time, I was, you know, stupid child bad at video games. Um, and I struggled a lot, and I got to, I have, I have a specific memory of getting to, oh, Hitzel, he's a, he's a Splatoon 1 guy. Um, <laughs> he's, a, is he a comp player, or does he just, like, I think he was. He's, he's like a well-known community member, anyway, but, um... I know specifically I got to the, um, the Calamari incantation part. Like, I got to the end of the fight, um, and then I game overed, and I, like, rage quit, <laughs> and I, like, went to bed, <laughs> and I came back the next day. Um, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that's when I realized I could upgrade stuff, and then I beat him. I don't, I don't think I beat him upgrade lists my first try. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I literally was on it for like hours and then rage quit and went to bed, <laughs> which is really funny because now I literally will just always replay it for fun. Um, I mean, it's it's just an amazing fight. I have sung its praises many times, but I think it is it is literally my favorite boss fight ever in any video game. I, I love it so much. Uh, OK, that's a little that's a little dead. Yeah, Gr Grizz's fight is pretty good. I think Octavio is way better in my mind, but <laughs> obviously, obviously very biased. I, I literally, yeah, it's just, it is my favorite boss ever. Like, forget the Splatoon series. It is, I, oh my god, two killer whales, really? I'm surprised I lived that. That was kind of cool, actually. <laughs> uh, oh, here, Kraken, Kraken. Mm, nope, mm, gotcha. Oh, I love Kraken. I love Kraken in this game. I like Kraken in Splatoon 3 a lot, but... This one, the, the one shot, the insta pop one shot will always, always be satisfying. Thought I said Gerson's fight. <laughs> you know, some sometimes I I slur my words together a little bit. I don't. <laughs> that'd be that would be interesting. That's uh that that's some Delta Rune brain rot. I <laughs> I know um. I don't know how much crossover there is, because I feel like I've been referencing a lot of Undertale and Deltarune stuff lately. But if any of you know, <laughs> there's like a theory guy called Jaru Jaru, and he believes that, like... I forget if he, he thinks Gerson is the knight, or some version of Gerson is the knight. <laughs> so he, in, in that case, there actually would be a Gerson fight. <laughs> I don't, I'm probably reaching far, too far into a different... Over on Smog, there we go! Okay, never mind, never mind, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I I like Jaru. I know I I'm not like super I, I don't know. I'm I'm like half I have like my you know my toes dipped into the Delta Ring community. I know a lot of the big names, but I don't really like engage with the fandom, I guess. So I know uh, some of his theories are very weird and out there, and I know some people don't like them, but I, I, I like him as a person, and I I think he has some interesting thoughts about the game. I, I like his videos. Nice. 
Glenn Fiddler fight will be better than Oxavio. Yeah, yeah, Andrew Cunningham. I, he's... His videos are very good. Um, <laughs> obviously, I, I was very inspired by his Undertale video with my Splatoon video. Um, he actually commented on it too, which was very cool. I think I think YouTube does a thing. I'm not sure if you if you say a person's name in a video or if you comment on their video or, or not or not comment. Sorry, if you if you like link their video in your video <laughs> or if you say their name. But like, I, I got a notification because some some guy actually shouted me out. Um, I made that video before Side Order that's like rambling about all my thoughts for Side Order story that I hope happen. Um, and some guy was like, oh, I was inspired by this video by Cosmic Cloud to make a video and it, which, you know, it was kind of cool, first of all. But um, <laughs> YouTube like notified me like they were like someone like mentioned you in a video. Um, so I don't know if that happened <laughs> to the people because I was really surprised to see some of the people I mentioned in my video essay comment on my video. But I think that's maybe what happened, like YouTube told them, <laughs> which obviously they still went out of their way to watch the video and comment. So it's still a cool interaction. And that's that's nice of them. Um, they were all very nice about it. Um, but <laughs> I I don't know. That's that's cool. I, I think that's a good feature, probably. I guess I mean, it's basically like pinging someone on like Twitter. So, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Because your name was Sam. Oh yeah, the, yeah. When Toby Fox actually talked about Splatoon, that's true. Toby Fox is a Splatoon fan, so maybe maybe they're just not. <laughs> maybe it shouldn't be a surprise that there's some crossover in the the community. What if you shit talk someone and YouTube tells them? Uh, that would be awkward. It probably it probably is if you link, um, a video in a description. It's probably not. I don't, the only reason I say it, um saying their name is because YouTube added the thing where if you say like or subscribe, does that work on live streams? If I say the word like, subscribe, does it do the thing where like the buttons light up? Because <laughs> that, that's like a weird new thing they added. I don't know if that works on live streams. Do 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 do. Oh my god. Oberon Smog is coming for you. Not for you? Okay. It might just be a video thing. I don't know. I never actually checked if it worked on any of mine. I just saw people posting clips of it and stuff. Oh god. Harnessing my brainwaves for Jaru Jaru to get this recommended. I mean, Jaru is cool. I don't know how much... He would be interested in Splatoon content. <laughs> I don't know. I do. I don't. I don't know if I want to derail this entire stream into a Delta Rune discussion. But he actually made that video recently about like the player being a, a canon entity in Delta Rune, and like I, apparently it's like a weird hot take, and everyone disagrees with it. But like I pretty much agreed with most of the stuff he said in that video, so I thought that was weird. Um. But I, I don't know. I guess I don't have much else to say about that. I just that's another instance of me like I'm not deep into the fandom. I just watch some YouTubers. So then when when they have hot takes, I don't really know <laughs> what the standard opinion is on them. We all know Glenn Fiddler's the knight anyway. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Might as well be at this point. It could be anyone. Oh boy. Conjure Dorked and J yeah, or Shay. I don't want to say J. Oh my god. That would, that would be the ultimate community crossover. Shay and J Moji become Shay Moji. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Has to be red herring. Yeah, no, no, no way Glenn Fiddler would be the knight. Trying to think of any possible, like, actual connection you could make there, like... <laughs> I don't think there is one. I was gonna say something about, like, the copy bot having something to do with, like, Dark Fountains, but there's... <laughs> there's just really no thread there. Oh my god. Yeah, I actually... <laughs> I, I went on a... Um, 
vacation to Arizona recently, and I replayed, it, like, most of Deltarune Chapter 2 on the plane. Um, I don't know why, I just, I needed something to do for a five-hour flight. I'm like, I have Deltarune on Switch. I, I normally play it on PC, but I also, I think I got it on Switch because, like, my sister wanted to play it, and we were, like, hanging out, and it was, like, on the TV or something. I, I don't know, but, um, I normally play them on PC, but I had Deltarune on Switch for some reason, so I just replayed Chapter 2. <laughs> Uh, well, I got through Spamton, at least. He would put Glenn- I mean... I don't know about Glenn- I, I feel like that's too much of a- of a community joke. I think a Splatoon reference in Deltarune... <laughs> ...may be possible. I feel like Glenn Fiddler might be a little too obscure. Unless- unless he's in really deep and, you know... For all I know, Toby Fox is a subscriber of mine, but... <laughs> I have a feeling... ...he is not in that deep. To Splatoon. A Splatoon bird? The birds that are identical to real life birds and that would not be distinguishable from any other kind of bird? <laughs> Your fun value is eight. Oh my god. It feels like everyone. I like, I'm always. <laughs> Hesitant to, to make those jokes because I don't want to, you know, confuse people, but then I feel like people come out here with like I feel like everyone in this chat has played Undertale Delta Rune now. Oh my god. Why did I live that? Why did you try and roll me? Okay, GG <laughs> The model specifically in Splatoon? I don't know if low poly bird is really a recognizable Splatoon icon <laughs> But I it would be cool, I guess <laughs> Oh my god, my blaster got 21. Okay, I was carried. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, so... Deltarune, Undertale Deltarune Brain Rot is pretty much second only to Splatoon Brain Rot for, for me. Like, <laughs> whenever I'm not thinking about Splatoon lore, I am... I am watching... very long <laughs> Deltarune videos. I don't know, it's just, it's just interesting. I just, um... Actually, speaking of, um, pixelated, pixel graphics indie games with interesting narratives and use of meta, I started playing One Shot last night, <laughs> which, that, that was like, I don't really know, I don't know much about, or I obviously know about the game now, because I, I did one of the endings, but, um, I knew very little going into it. I was pretty much entirely blind, but I've just seen that that character. <laughs> you know, Nico for some reason has just like been a character that you see on the internet and like PFPs all the time. Um, but yeah, that was that was fun. It's not like, you know, it's a much shorter, lower scope game than something like Undertale, but it's it's neat. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so I did. I mean, I guess I won't spoil it here, but <laughs> I have I've begun to explore some of like, you know, the weirder parts with the game and like what happens when you try to replay it um, and it has become interesting. Do, 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 do. It is the game with the cat that wears the hat, yes. <laughs> um. It's, it's like a chill, I don't know, chill, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's a very, like, low-key game, like, you're just walking around, basically, like, exploring the world, talking to NPCs, solving little puzzles, um, but then there's, like, interesting moral quandaries, and then interesting uses of, like, you know, it's a game that knows it's a game, kind of thing, um, I don't know if, I wouldn't really say there's, like, it doesn't seem like there's exactly a meta-narrative going on, I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm not really through with all that stuff yet, but, um, interesting use of game mechanics and computer <laughs> mechanics, which is interesting. It's, it's very unique. Thousand Your Door is a very good game, yes. I'm I'm very excited for the, the remake. I've played the original, but I, I want the remake very badly. <laughs> I did cry playing, yeah. I also love Celeste, yeah. I basically like Splatoon and like you know, well, I, I play a lot of Nintendo games. I like Nintendo games and indie games pretty much is what I play. So Celeste, Hollow Knight, um, two very good games. 
I need to give Hat and Time another chance. I, I tried Hat and Time and I like, I didn't really love the movement, <laughs> which I feel like is a game, you know, it's a 3D platformer. So I feel like you kind of have to like the movement. <laughs> and I don't know. I, I didn't, I didn't play it for like super long, but it just, it didn't, something about it felt weird to me. It was just like, I don't know. I, I really need to give it another shot. Cause I, I'm like, <laughs> it seems like a game I'm supposed to like based on other stuff I've played, but uh, it just, it didn't quite click with me. Ori is actually another game. Um, I, I really need to give Ori another chance cause I, I barely tried that game, but I, I don't know. Something about it just didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't catch me. It didn't, it didn't get me in the, the first couple hours of the game, but maybe that, I mean with Hollow Knight, I actually gave up on Hollow Knight originally. Um, I was just really intimidated by Hollow Knight. I don't know. I I kept dying and then dying again, so I lost all my money. Like I, I didn't. That's the only. There's the first, first and pretty much only game I played where it has like you know the the souls mechanic of you die. Oh my god, you die and then you have to return to your body and kill your body to otherwise you lose all the stuff you had. Um, and that just really intimidated me and exploring the world really intimidated me because it's really big. But I went back to Hollow Knight like two years after I originally tried playing it and then I like went through 100% it and I loved everything. So <laughs> um, I definitely can, you know, it's definitely worth giving games like that a second chance. Because um, I'm, I'm really, really glad I tried Hollow Knight again. Um, but I, I need to go back and do that with some other games. You got to the final boss and still haven't finished it? The only thing... The only thing in Hollow Knight I didn't do was like the Pantheons, which are like the giant boss rushes that you do like in post game, which are like absolutely insane. And I frankly don't really have any interest in trying to grind that because I just genuinely think it's too hard for me. Um, and the Path of Pain, which I probably could do. Um, I just kind of lost interest at that point <laughs> because I had done everything else. But uh, yeah, I, I beat I beat the game. I got all the endings, so. And I got like Hollow Knight's weird because they like they added free DLC, so it technically goes up to like a hundred and twelve percent completion, I think. Um, and I'm at like hundred and six or something. I'm like, you know what? It's over hundred. <laughs> That's good enough for me. <laughs> so I stopped there. Oh, Undertale Yellow is great. Yeah. Gusty, yeah, I mean, Mario Galaxy is my childhood game, so <laughs> I I love that one, too. I don't want to say, oh, God, Undertale is very good. Um, for me, it's definitely like a significant step down from the actual Undertale <laughs> in terms of its narrative, but it's still it's still very good. Like, I mean, and I, I don't think most people are comparing it to like, you know, the level of Toby Fox, but some people are saying like, oh, I'm just going to like pretend this is canon now, and it's like. It kind of has some contradictions with Undertale. It's really just the lore, the lore nerd in me, um, and like partly the grammar nerd in me, because the Undertale of Yellow Riders do not exactly know how to use commas. <laughs> no, no offense to them. Like it's the characters are very fun, but some some of the writing is just like on a technical level. Um, it bothered me, and it probably wouldn't bother other people, but <laughs> it it just it was like you know, it's a, it's a, it's about the flow of the dialogue though. I don't know. I'm getting into like weird nitpicks right now, but <laughs> the the writing the com the writing doesn't like flow as well as it should. And I think a lot of that is because literally just they they use they don't use commas right. Um, <laughs> but oh, like in general, the characters are are very fun, and the world is it's really I mean it's really really impressive for a fan game. Um, like the gameplay is really solid, the fights are good, the characters are fun, the music the music is fantastic. Um, and the sprite works and animation are, are great, so yeah. I mean, absolutely play it if you're an Undertale fan. <laughs> I, but I, I think some people hype it up a little, a little extreme, or to an extreme degree, but it is, it is still very, very good and worth your time. Well, the Sia seems more funny. I mean, I mean, Toby Fox does that too, where he, you know, he uses kind of internet slang, um, for jokes. It felt a little weird when Martlet did that, but I, I think uh, I think they were playing it for a joke, so that's not exactly <laughs> the same. But oh my god, please die, please! Yeah, the soundtrack is is super good, especially. 
I'm not I'm not very interested in other Undertale fan games. Like I don't know. That's I guess I'm more probably hesitant uh with that stuff than maybe other people would be, but I, it's the only Undertale fan game I've played and the only one I'm really interested in playing. I think most of them just go way off the rails with like weird lore and misunderstanding the characters. I mean, the thing that makes Undertale Yellow really good is that it mostly has a cast of original characters. I think most of the fan games rely way too much on like trying to make their own version of Sans <laughs> or like, you know, I don't know. I, I know very little about most of them, but I know like Delta Traveler is a thing where it's like the Delta Room characters in Undertale and that that's just like messy to me. Like, I, I don't know. That just feels weird. <laughs> I don't really like when they try to write other people's characters. Um, which, you know, it's a fan game. There's nothing wrong with doing that. I just I think the the drop in quality <laughs> from Toby Fox writing to most other people's writing is, is pretty noticeable. But um, which I think is also part of. I got this, this went, I said I didn't want to derail this into Undertale thing, it's totally just an Undertale thing now, but, <laughs> um, Undertale Yellow relies a lot on Flowey, and I think they do cool things with Flowey, but it is definitely not Toby Fox Flowey, like, I'm not saying it feels like a whole different character, but like, it definitely doesn't hit as hard, which it was never going to, it was a fan game, but <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I think I just have very high standards for <laughs> for what it should be. And it, it probably is like one of the best fan games ever. Um, it's just not as good as Undertale, which is one of my favorite games ever. So <laughs> very, very rough comparison. Like, it's, it's not really fair to do that. The game is very good for what it is. Absolutely. <clears throat> I think I think they did Flowey pretty well. Um, I think I just I think um, Undertale Yellow peaks with its original characters, I guess. Um, the flowy stuff is interesting, but I personally find the. The like true pacifist ending is definitely the most compelling. Um, although its version of genocide was actually pretty cool, too, especially the, the gameplay. The fights were insane. They oh, my God, they were really hard. <laughs> they took me a very long time to beat. Yeah, I don't know if other people have actually played it, um, <laughs> so maybe I should just talk specifically about that. Oh, hey, Bash Doug, I vaguely know of that person. I, <laughs> it's like a, I don't know if I'd say a friend of a friend. I know a friend who knows that person and has talked to them. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry, we're playing Splatoon 1. What? <laughs> oh, I smack. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Yeah. Well, oh god. I mean, Splatoon is a bit different. Oh god. I feel like the only- I mean, the only characters... Well... <laughs> I was gonna say the only characters you can really mischaracterize are the idols, but I guess the villains, too. But agents, you can kind of do whatever you want, really. I mean... Kind of. <laughs> I don't know. They're pretty flexible. Oh god. Yo, Smack, if you hopped on, we could we could maybe do a PB. That'd be cool. <laughs> um, why is this working so well? They're just like not stopping the tower. <laughs> they have a DC or something? Uh oh. Um. Uh oh. Why can I not? Oh my god, the little lip here is like stopping me. Did they not see me? There's no way they didn't see me. There's no way they didn't see me there, right? I don't know why I got away with that. Where's the tower? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Goodbye, Kraken. Is this is this an S plus lobby? I'm not trying to be rude, but like what? Okay, oh there we are. There, my bad. Instant karma. Instant karma. There we go. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The agent eight stuff. 
sometimes sometimes people are weird <laughs> I guess is the fastest way to say that uh oh boy hey you wanna oh nope I'm dead I don't think I mean most of that push was me just sitting on the tower and nothing like <laughs> I, again jumping around this like he should have seen me I one of them should have seen me I don't I don't understand how that happened Play Salmon Run? The, there is no Salmon Run in Splatoon 1. I could not fulfill that request. Where are you going? There we go. Just Culture was a good pick for this map, I think. <laughs> uh, shoot, this angle is so weird. Oh my god, they're just they're just trying to stealth jump Jesus, bro. Oh my god, wait, oh, 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 the bomb! Oh my god. Okay, if anyone jumps, I'll get him. I think we got him. I think we, we, we ended the chain. Oh my god. In case you uh, don't know, that's a thing that happens in Splatoon 1. Because Stealth Jump makes your Super Jump marker completely invisible. No matter how far away or close you are to it, it is completely invisible. So people will just all spam Super Jump one at, like, you know, one at a time onto the tower. Um, <laughs> and sometimes they can catch you off guard. Like, oh, we killed all the people in the tower. We can, we can back up and stop paying attention to it. And then some guy will just come in and land on it out of nowhere. Um, oh god. Yeah, I mean, it's just weird, because just H and 8 doesn't... Like, they literally designed the Octolings to be more mature than the Inklings. <laughs> like, I, I just think it's wrong. Like, regardless of the implications, it just isn't canon. <laughs> like, it, it's just not what, you know, what little we know about Agent 8, uh, we know they aren't that. <laughs> so, it's just strange. Oh god. Uh, nice. I've never heard people say that Neo is the youngest, though. I kind of... I guess I, in my mind, they seem... Maybe not the oldest, but I guess they just use the Splatoon 3 character model, so they look older, but <laughs> I guess in theory all the agents would now, so it doesn't really mean anything, but... I don't know. I mean, I don't really... The agents' ages... They're, they're teenagers, and now Agent 3 and 8 are adults. Like, I, that's all that really matters. <laughs> I don't think specific numbers are really... I, I don't know. I never really got why people care so much about that. Uh, oh boy. If I get a Kraken? Actually, maybe that's not a good idea. Because I get pushed off. There we go. Nice. Oh! <laughs> Got it. Well, yeah, but they, um... The only thing that makes it weird is, like, with Splatoon 1, they explicitly said that it was a new wave of, like, 14-year-old Inklings. It wasn't the Splatoon 1 Inklings that had grown up. But with Splatoon 3, they didn't really say that. So, like, I feel like Neo 3 could literally just be however old you want them to be. Um... I guess I'm switching weapon. I don't really know. We're not even mostly talking about side order, though. I mean... <laughs> Ne Neo Agent 3 is the Return of the Mammalians character. But you should you should get side order. <laughs> um I don't know I don't know what I want to switch to. I just kinda of backed out because I felt like I wanted to. <laughs> rapid Blaster. It's kind of that's kind of a fun kit. What does the other rapid have? Oh, okay, I don't like that. Let's, 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 I don't know, I don't know, let's just try this, why not? <laughs> Side order is 25 US dollars. I'm not sure what it would probably be, something similar for you. You do the conversion, I guess. <laughs> do, 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 do. Um...
The first... I, I, I'd say the first hours is underselling it. I mean, it's... I don't know. Again, conflicted thoughts on side order still. Like, <laughs> it's fun, but it is just kind of over. You haven't beat a first run of side order? As someone who cares uh, seemingly as much about the lore as you do, that is surprising here. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I obviously have my entire... I have one more side order video to make, actually. Unless, I mean, if I end up doing challenge videos or whatever, I guess that would happen in the future, but... um, Yeah, I just have the final... Um no hack run finale thing, which I guess I'll probably edit tonight. I don't actually know when I'm doing that because <laughs> I'd like to have it out maybe on Monday because I wanted to finish it before the Splatoon 1 servers went down. Um, but I have I have college work to do, so <laughs> I should focus on that for a little bit. But yeah. The Persona fan that never played Persona. I mean, I... If you have a side order, I definitely think it's worth beating the final boss, I guess. I don't know. I, I mean, for me, it's way more fun to explore the lore myself within the actual game. But I guess whatever, whatever works for you. Uh, and no hackers. It scares me that you're asking that, because last time someone asked me any hackers yet... Ah, <laughs> last time someone asked me any hackers yet, I got a hacker in the next game, and that was made into a YouTube short. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but no, we have we've not encountered any. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. do. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the... Oh, you changed your... Oh, that was you. Okay. Wait, so are you... Tori? Or you were Tori? <laughs> I was too to Yeah, I mean... If you get me talking about lore, that <laughs> can certainly go on. Um, I, It is fun. I mean, that's why... Part of the reason I stream is just because I want to be able to rant to people about Splatoon lore and allow them to rant back, so... <laughs> <laughs> Glad it is working out. Okay, cool. Can you guys hear the squid jump sound effects? I think it's picking that up a little bit. Dust and Ashes. Okay, that's a very aggressive name. <laughs> Okay, we actually got a game. <laughs> it's a threat and a half. Remember that one time Marie referenced the Bible in Splatoon 2? What are the implications of that? <laughs> there, there's a Splatoon 2 level where she says, Splashes to splashes, dust to dust. I, I, I'm sure that's just an NOA moment, but <laughs> funny that it's a thing that exists. Oh god. Uh... Um, hello. I guess we technically know from the Alterna logs that there's like a squid Jesus. So maybe there literally just is a, a, a Splatoon Bible. I'm trying to think of like a, a pun word for that, but I don't know what that would be. <laughs> Splatoon Jesus is real, yes. Also, hello, Powie. I don't know if you were lurking or just joined, but hello. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's the, um... There's the one scroll about, like, the prophet... The prophet squid that's, like, the progenitor of the modern-day inkling, I think is the wording. <laughs> I don't know if that's, like, a... The Homo sapiens squid or equivalent or just... Or Jesus, because it's a prophet. I don't know. I don't know. I'm playing the wrong blaster? I- I mean, yeah, this wasn't the meta one, I just- I don't know. 
I'm not good at custom range blaster. I know that's like the blaster. I it's too slow for me. Oh god. I that was just bad gameplay. Someone should draw Jesus in an inkling together. <laughs> I I feel like there's an audience for that. I don't know if I w would be the artist or or said audience, but <laughs> if anyone is feeling inspired, go for it. I mean, do does well. Neo three knows how the alternans. Actually, no. I guess I guess the logs do explain how all of humanity died. Yeah. I actually have not ever really considered that. Yeah. I guess they just. <laughs> well, I don't know. That's what's weird about the lore. Because like Agent Eight is the only. Well, even I guess we don't even necessarily know how Agent Eight feels about like the chat logs. But you know, the mem cakes are literally just like you know their perspective on the world. But with the other agents, we don't really. We don't know how Agent 3 feels. Supposedly, if Agent 3 read the scrolls, they would be kind of messed up by, you know, their mission <laughs> to fight the Octarians, but I, I don't really know. If you make that argument, then why, you know... Oh my god! Dust and Ashes? They were not kidding with the name 30 and 1? Hello? <laughs> are they... are they... Is that legit? <laughs> oh my god. I don't... I don't think they're hacking. <laughs> what is that emote smack? Why are you, why are you using the YouTube emojis? <laughs> I... we're... I don't know. I... I... <laughs> that was me, by the way. Oh, did you? Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, why are you? No, no, no. I always heard the YouTube emotes exist because, like, literally no one uses them. <laughs> Wait, sorry. <laughs> why did someone? I just decided to look at my my YouTube. I normally have OBS open for the chat, but I went to my YouTube browser to to look at the emote thing and I had a notification. And it, someone just commented on my video essay, God, I fucking hate Amori. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I just used the music. I didn't even talk about it in the video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's so I don't I don't even know what to make of that. Like <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Oh god. Like, well that means they recognize Amori music too, right? So that doesn't even... do. If they hate Amori so much that it, like, they would comment that on a video just because they heard the music, why are they familiar with the music from the game? <laughs> or maybe they heard a song and liked it and went to the description and they saw it was from Amori? Like, ah, oh, god damn it! <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't- I don't understand. That was literally an accidental direct, okay. Triggered their Amori trauma? I feel like if you get Amori trauma, you just get that from playing the game and probably liking the story, though. <laughs> if anything. <laughs> oh, they are hacking. Oh, they are- oh, they are hacking! Oh! Oh, they are very okay. They are very much hacking. I wasn't. I didn't. I didn't actually see them hacking in the other game, so I did not. Um, okay. Okay, I understand. <laughs> well, I feel like it's the polite thing to throw when there's a hacker. I don't really know what the etiquette is here. <laughs> like us winning isn't fair, so I'd feel kind of bad. Um. Well, now it looks like they're... Never mind. <laughs> they're like half playing normally. It's weird. 
They just started flying, though. I'm really confused. I'm not really tryharding this game because I don't really care what happens now, but... Um... Wait, so you're telling me that Tori asked any hackers yet again and we got a hacker again? <laughs> um... <laughs> oh. Hello, plumbing, elevators, hand dryers, and more of Florida. Yes, I, I'm aware of Pretendo. Thank you for the, the notice. Yes, there are there are fan servers. Um, I don't know if I'll make... I mean, obviously, I haven't been making Splatoon 1 content anyway for a while now. Um, I might make Pretendo content if it's something people are interested in, and if I don't think it's going to get, like, my channel... <laughs> the, the videos... You know, I, my channel won't get taken down, but the videos might get banned because Nintendo hates mods. Um... I'm probably a small enough channel that I could get away with it, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to even risk that, but yes, it is a thing that exists. We've never seen the hacker in, in Kyudo? Is that how you say the name? I, I should use your, your new name, I'm sorry, but I... Um, <laughs> maybe you are the hacker? I don't know, for all we know. <laughs> Undertale, Delta, and Theory videos? I'll be honest, there's an idea I have had <laughs> for a while, actually. Um, I might actually make one. I, it's it's very, like, underdeveloped currently, but... There's, there's something I have thought of in regards to Deltarune that I haven't seen anyone else talk about. And I may make a video about it someday, but <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. Is Glenn Fiddler Gaster the night identity revealed? Yeah, that's that's it. Yeah, you, you spoil it, you got me. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> I wish this joke started like a week earlier and then I could have made it like that in April Fool's video. <laughs> oh god. Two hour <laughs> thirty minute runtime, yeah. That would be kind of hilarious. I might make that. I might make a joke video. <laughs> okay, I feel like the hacker is like not hacking as much, so I'm just gonna try and get the lead, I guess. I don't <laughs> I don't really care what the outcome of this game is, but it's turned into more of a normal game. I think they were trying to party. I don't really know what's going on. Oh my god. Okay, well, uh, I was gonna say we lost anyway, but then... I mean... If I get points from this game, I'm not complaining. Insta kill mine, thank you very much. Okay, well, we're just gonna take that. <laughs> A very humble hacker, yeah. I... I don't know. Like, they were... F <laughs> I saw them flying and spamming bombs in front of the enemy spawn, but then they just stopped and played the game normally? So... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what don't do, do not know what to make of that game. Um I'm gonna switch weapon though and back out of this <laughs> this room. Because I would rather not play with a hacker. I'm pressing the A button. Okay, gamepad is weird. Do, do, do. I do not I mean Splatoon 1 drip is hard, right? Okay, I mean to be fair, I do have um I have the Splatoon 1 amiibos. <laughs> I never really leveled up the gear, though. Because um, I got them after the fact. I like this. I'm not going to say this is like a, you know, put-together outfit. But <laughs> this is just fun because it's a Splatoon 1 exclusive piece of gear. Um, but yeah. I don't, I don't really know. Are there any weapons you guys are interested in seeing? I'm not going to guarantee that I will actually play whatever you tell me to play. But, <laughs> do you have any suggestions? This had Splap on Zuka. Hmm. I know the Beacon Kraken one was way more popular. 
Luna Blaster. Ah. Uh... Luna Blaster is so like brain dead in this game though. Like you just you really just hold forward with it. I don't know if I want to do that. I would win. <laughs> I'd probably win, but I don't know. Charger gameplay. I I played a bit of the dual squelcher earlier. I could go back to it, but I'd, I'd rather switch to something else. I'll try a charger. I'll try a charger, I guess. It better not be a silly hip sushi chef when I get there. Yeah, that's I mean, Splatoon 1 outfits are funny because it really it's much more likely you're going to be a weird mishmash of something. I'm going to be fresh Squiffer because Squiffer actually has like range in this game and that has Kraken. Or do I do the bubbler one? I'd rather have Kraken. We'll try this. Not, uh, there will not be trick shots. <laughs> I mean, trick shots are much less of a thing in Splatoon 1 regardless, because you can't, um, there's no store charge. So, I mean, you can get a little fancy with it, but... <laughs> Partial charges also exist. I uh, Maybe uh, maybe I should have gone into the, um, firing range to test this out, actually, because... I always forget, like, what charge you need. Basically, if with every charger in this game, you can stack a bunch of damage up on it, and you don't actually have to full charge to kill people in one shot. <laughs> so... It, you don't get the full range out of it, obviously, but a lot of the time it can actually still be worth it. Swift doesn't have the, the jump mechanic, but... It's still... I don't know. I have fun with it. I'm not going to be any good with E-Leader, so... <laughs> This is this is definitely the choice for me. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Wish you own this game. Yeah, I I feel like I got lucky like getting into it so early. I really, I, I had, I mean, I, I wish I played Splatoon 1 more. <laughs> I was still very much in my Minecraft phase at the time. Um, I really, I don't have a crazy amount of hours on Splatoon 1. I mean, relative, I guess. It's a couple hundred, a few hundred. I forget if I even hit 500. Like, for reference, I have 2,000 hours on Splatoon 2. I already have over 1,000 on Splatoon 3. I don't think I was anywhere near 1,000 in Splatoon 1. Um, which, obviously, that's a lot of hours for any game, but... <laughs> I played significantly less of this one, and I kind of regret that, because I wish I played more of it at its peak, I guess. Yeah, I mean, if you don't even have Wii U, obviously that is <laughs> that is an obstacle. It's funny, because I remember, like, I wasn't 100% invested right away. Um... I remember thinking, like, like I didn't like Stay Fresh. I was like, why do, why are they talking like weird '90s characters? Like, <laughs> I was like, I was all like weird about it. I don't know. I, I thought the dialogue was weird, and then now it has grown on me and become so normalized because I am way too deep within the community. But <laughs> uh, it took it took a while for me to get like truly hooked. I know. I also I didn't like Agent 3's outfit. I thought the like crossing guard vest was dumb which to be fair it's a really weird outfit <laughs> i i really just feel like i've been like desensitized to how weird a lot of stuff in splatoon is but um yeah i i think after octo expansion i'm like oh agent 3 is so badass and cool but like i thought they looked i thought they looked stupid i thought they looked fucking dumb at first <laughs> oh my god the headphones were always cool yeah don't hate on my goat's fit. I like it now. I like it now. I just didn't as a 14 year old, I think. When did I get Splatoon? Um, in 2015, I would have been 13. Whoa. Wait, was I only 13? I thought I was 14 for some reason. No, I, I was born in 2002, so <laughs> I guess I was 13. Do, 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 do. Ah! Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> I'm I'm one of the, like... I'm a, I'm a member of the senior citizen part of the Splatoon community who is over 20 years old, yes. 
Please, please, please. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not good with chargers, by the way. Um, I'm sure many of you are aware of that. Oh my god. I am ancient here. <laughs> I mean, I... I don't know. It is it is reassuring to me to learn that people older than me play the game because... I mean, I'm not, like, ashamed of it. <laughs> but, you know, it would be nice if there were more people closer to my age. Sometimes, especially when it comes to lore things, you know... <laughs> if there was, like, a Undertale level of, like, lore discussion in the Splatoon community, that would be amazing. But unfortunately, we get, you know... All the 11 year olds making Glenn Fiddler theories, <laughs> the unironic ones before it became a joke. Oh god. So. I'm certainly not judging. According to Club Penguin, he's a senior. Yeah, well, no, that's the funny... I can't even tell, like, if it's, like, meant to be, like, a gag. Also, I'm switching off Squiffer. I, that was so bad. I, I'll give it one more chance. I'll give it one more chance. Um... <laughs> but, yeah, with, with Agent 3, like, they literally... They are only ever capable of doing one thing at a time before being unconscious. Like, they broke the blender, got knocked out. They became sanitized, which isn't even... You know, that's against their will. Got knocked out. In Splatoon 3, they combined the razor thing, just randomly passed out, or were hurt, or whatever. Like, they always get incap incapacitated, like, <laughs> a second after doing literally anything. Around the age of 50, playing X-Rank, wow, yeah. I mean, it's... I will always, you know, say about Nintendo games, like, they're not really... You know, maybe Splatoon 1, like, the marketing was targeted towards kids, but the games themselves are not kids games, they're just everyone games, they're just not explicitly adults games, but like, you know, it's... If I'm this old and enjoying it, I feel like literally anyone could be, so... You're all just having a good time. Cap 3 sounds like me, one short done few, time to rest for the day, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Dude, dude, dude. Splatoon Club at the nursing home. The ancients of the fandom at the ripe age of 23, yeah. Well, I'm... I'm still 20. I turned 22 in... 24 days. Did I just do math? No, that's wrong math. I can't do math. 19 days. <laughs> I'm, very, I'm a very intelligent college senior, definitely. <clears throat> I'm almost 22. Don't forget the gay little look they gave to 8, though. That was a lot of work. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not a, I'm not a math major, Eilina, look. <laughs> I haven't taken a math class since high school, I think. Yes. <laughs> Technically. Not that I, you need math to do basic addition. Obviously, I'm joking, but... <laughs> I, it's, I know, I know. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it is. I'm pretty sure it was only... It was really only Splatoon 1, and it was in the West. They did the weird ads with the music and stuff that made it way more, like, kid-focused, which I do think irreparably, irreparably damaged the game's reputation forevermore, which is <laughs> unfortunate, but more, I mean, more people have gone into it by Splatoon 3. I think people get the idea now. I like this weapon. I'm gonna try this weapon. You can't count either. It's very detrimental considering you work at the cashiers. Oh. That would stress me out, dude. I, I I hate having to do math on the spot, especially. Like, dude, like anytime I have to like leave a tip or something, like I'm I'm pulling out my phone calculator. Like I'm not even trying to do that in my head. I'm I don't want to be stupid and mess stuff up. Like, oh my god. Splat da 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 splatoon. 
I never even saw those ads like on TV. Like I only knew about them because they were memed. Like the oh my god, the video of the just alternating between you're a kid now, you're a squid now for like ten minutes. I only I only saw those after the fact, after I owned the game, so. <laughs> You still make mistakes like you're a loser? No. Pulling up a math function? Please don't. I like. I don't remember anything. I don't. I, don't, I can't do anything remotely complicated. The full song is like so much worse too. Like. I don't know. I don't know. It's just the the lyrics. The lyrics get like they just got lazier and lazier with the words. Like I don't know if you guys have seen. I think there's like the Splatoon Wii U extended cut where it's like the entire song and they start talking about like the single player at one point and they're just like Agent Three kills Octavio with Inzuka. Like they just like say words from the game. Like it's just, it's so like lazy. Like <laughs> it gets really bad. Uh, there we go, there we go. Oh no. The only line I like in the whole song, like, <laughs> the, the ending part. Ink it up to the sun, ink it up to the moon, splat a tat a tat a tat a tat a splatoon. They were cooking with that part. <laughs> I, I like that part. That's the only good part of the whole thing. Boosh. That guy did not know how to Kraken team. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh! Yeah, I mean, I never... I assume they never played the full song on TV, like it's the extended cut. So I guess that's just for like the YouTube video. I, maybe it played in like a YouTube ad. I don't even know. Again, I never got the, I never actually got them as an ad. I only just watched them out of morbid curiosity and because of memes. There's something kind of charming about them, I guess, because they're a little nostalgic, but I, yeah, not not a good way to sell the game. <laughs> Fire opening lyrics, yeah. Splatoon's like, well, also like they they pushed the only on Wii U thing. I mean, I know that's not, like, a Nintendo-specific thing. Like, obviously, you say what, you know, console the game is for, but they, they would always say only on Wii U. Splatoon, only on Wii U. And, like, you can just tell they were so desperate trying to get people to figure out what the Wii U actually was. <laughs> it's not on the Wii, guys. It's on the Wii U. You need a Wii U. <laughs> Please buy a Wii U. Do, 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 do. Favorite in-game song? Oh god. I always say it's a tie between Split and Splat by the Chirpy Chips and Ink Me Up by Squid Sisters. <laughs> Splatoon 4 is the only game on Switch 2. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, that worked for some reason. Uh, that wall did not place how I wanted it to. I'm robbing their headquarters. Depends how long it takes to come out and how much more inflation will affect the economy. I, I, don't, I wonder if it would be 70. I wonder if we'll be at that point where, where every AAA game is $70. Because PlayStation's been trying to push that. Nintendo did it with Tears of the Kingdom. I almost wouldn't be surprised. Oh my god! When did it go your- uh, the Kidna Squidna might have been a, like a different one. That might have been its own thing.
I don't know. Oh god. Do, 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 do. 90 Canadian man. Dude, the auto tune is so bad on the voice too. It's like, oh my god. I wonder how that, like, if that woman has any thoughts <laughs> that they commissioned to to sing the song. Like, I wonder, like, if they knew it became a meme, if they like. <laughs> or if they're just like they just did it for the cash and they're out of there like I, I they probably don't care about Splatoon, but like <laughs> I don't know I mean, I think there are there are charming ways to use auto tune. The lyrics are the worst part. The voice isn't terrible. <laughs> I don't know. Do they know about their legacy? I want. Can you like look up who sings songs in ads? Who sang Splatoon One ad? Uh. Okay, there's an Incipedia page on it. Um, the campaign featured real in-game footage, but instead of using music from Splatoon, original music was made exclusively for the campaign. It was notable for its mixed to negative reception that resulted in widespread word-of-mouth discussion of the ads and Splatoon. <laughs> um... I don't... You splat the world. I'm just trying to see if there's anything. I don't know. There's no... <laughs> I don't know where you find the credits. Oh, hi, Smack. Oh, hey. Hey, hello. Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Um. Okay, my friend Smack is here. This song was a cultural reset. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't know. I, I wonder, like, how my opinion of the game would have changed if I had seen that ad before buying it, honestly. Like, I'm almost glad I didn't, because I feel like... I don't know if it would have stopped me. Because I had other friends who bought Splatoon. Oh my god. I mean... Yeah, they say there's... I don't know. <laughs> you would say there's, there's no such thing as bad publicity, but... I feel like it did affect the way people think about Splatoon. I just think a lot of the external media does, like... I don't know, even even in, like, Smash... I don't think Inklings are too mischaracterized in Smash, but they definitely feel more like... You know, like, goofy ten-year-olds. <laughs> Whereas I feel like in Splatoon, they normally try to make them more be, like, cool teenagers. Especially in, like, single-player. Like, I feel like people who don't play Splatoon, like... The vibe of Splatoon agents in, like, single player is not, you know, what people who don't play Splatoon think Splatoon is. <laughs> oh, that's an echo. Woshi. It's a double Yoshi. Exploshi. See, that's, that's a good ad. That's good advertising right there. Oh, God. What do people- well... I don't know. I mean, I do think... I mean, no, I, I can't speak for them. <laughs> Obviously, I've been in the Splatoon community for so long, but I, I feel like people... I, def I definitely think people aren't aware of the depth of Splatoon's gameplay. Like, people are vaguely aware that there is a Splatoon competitive scene, but... I think people do mostly just see it as, like, kid-friendly shooter game. Not like, you know... I don't know. People, I just think, are completely oblivious to the like the the lore and the world building stuff, which you know I know I am like ultimate brain rot, like 
waist neck deep in 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 the lore stuff, but um, I think I think there should be more. <laughs> I think it should be more well known. I don't know. I feel like people, you know, people really like Zelda for the story. People even talk about like Kirby, like oh Kirby's like little pink puffball guy, but the lore is like really intricate and dark, and it's kind of funny. And but people just like, you know. I feel like it's like that for Splatoon. I'm not going to say, like, it's better than Kirby lore or whatever, because people like Kirby, but... <laughs> for me, obviously, I, I think... There's just so much to think about and extrapolate from the stories and the world. And I think that is not something that the game is widely recognized for. Um, which is part of why I made, you know, the video about it. Well, Zelda stories are interesting. Um, I think Tears of the Kingdom has an absolutely garbage story. <laughs> I think Breath of the Wild has, like... I, I appreciate Breath of the Wild because so much of it is environmental storytelling. Like, the world itself kind of tells the story of the Calamity, which I think is really interesting. It's still not particularly deep. I don't think it says a lot about, you know... <laughs> I don't know. Like, there's not that much for me personally to like take back into my own life <laughs> which like I, I don't for me i think a good story is something that can like you can be really immersed in but then you think about it afterwards and it like can like change your perspective on something and most zelda games don't really do that for me i think wind waker is the best of that i think from the zelda games i've played wind waker which it, it kind of like doesn't it, for me it really was something that kind of hit later like i was into wind waker but it was like most people say, you know, the Ganondorf in that game is really good. The, the villain of the game is really well written. Um, and he is, but it's not just him. Like, just the themes... The, the world in the game actually have themes. Like, there's actually... There's something that feels like they're actually trying to say with it. Which, um... I can't really say is the case in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. I really like Twilight Princess, too. I think Twilight Princess is a bit more... I don't think it's as consistent as Wind Waker, um, but there's lots of really interesting stuff in, in Twilight Princess. I really like a lot of the characters. Like, Min Minda has an actual arc. I guess my problem with Breath of the Wild is that, like... I don't really, I don't really like Zelda's arc. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of weird. Like... I think it's cool that that both Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are actually the Legend of Zelda. <laughs> like I, I think it's you know they actually take that title and like try to bring the series. Although, like, okay, well, I was gonna say something about the gameplay, but we're not gonna talk about the gameplay. But, <laughs> um, I respect the idea of that. But the whole thing with Zelda is like the whole. Um, the whole idea with Zelda in that game is, like, she doesn't want to fulfill this prophecy. She doesn't want to, like, have to be this, like, you know, fill this role that she was born into. She just wants to be her own person and explore the world and, like, do science. But then, ultimately, she just discovers the sealing power, and then it's her duty to fight and seal Ganon. Like, I just don't, <laughs> I don't feel like she really gets what she wants. And I I feel like Tears of the Kingdom makes that worse, because then she's just stuck doing it again. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just, it's, it's kind of, it's sad, but I don't really think it's, it's not meaningful just because it's sad. She kind of just gets screwed over. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, there's lots of Zelda games I haven't played, so I, I've heard very good things about Minish Cap. Um... I, haven't, I still haven't played Ocarina of Time. I've kind of been going backwards. Um, <laughs> I started with Breath of the Wild, because that was just the first one I ever played. And then I played Twilight Princess, and then Wind Waker. I tried Skyward Sword, I just... I couldn't get into Skyward Sword. I think I need to give it another chance, maybe, but I... <laughs> I don't know. Oh no, Age of Calamity, I think, is a is horrible. I, I, I It's a good game, it's a good game. <laughs> I do not like what they do with the story at all. I do not think it helped the Breath of the Wild story at all. Um, that's that's my opinion. I don't know. I, it's fun when you're playing it. It's good fan service. It's not. I don't know. I don't. I don't think it. It's too afraid to do anything interesting in its story. I don't know. <laughs> I really want to play Ocarina of Time. I I've. I mean, obviously, people literally still will list it today as like 
best game of all time, which I'm sure is heavily influenced by nostalgia and the times and the, you know, just te the technological leap um, that it was, but I've heard a lot of things about it. It's just, it's just a game I would like to play. I am a little nervous that it will just be worse Ocarina to me. <laughs> or worse, sorry, worse Twilight Princess. But, um... It's been long enough since I played Twilight Princess that I think... It would probably be fine, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. People say the dungeons are good, so that'd be something to look forward to at least. Also, yeah, sorry. Um, Smack is here. So... What was I going to say? <laughs> if we, I we wanted to do a PB. I don't know if we still have... Um, someone mentioned... If you are able to play Splatoon, say in chat right now, because we could maybe do a... Um, possibly do a private battle. Um, right now. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll hold off for a second. We can just re-chat for a bit. Um, I mean, the thing with Mario is I started with Mario Galaxy and Mario Galaxy, while it doesn't have a complex story, it cares about the atmosphere and the feeling of the game. Like, I almost feel like atmosphere, atmosphere is so much to me in a video game. Like the, <laughs> the sound design and the music and the presentation matters like almost as much as the gameplay sometimes. But not, but but the gameplay does matter. <laughs> like I don't like when games just try to be movies. So there's a give and take there. But I think the Mario. I think I would still like Mario Galaxy. I don't know if I would like other Mario games as much. Also, okay, a lot of people are saying you can join. Yes. Um. Oh, you tell you what. Um. There is a Splatoon channel on my Discord. So if you guys are in the Discord, you can maybe put your um, Nintendo Network IDs there. And if you're not in the Discord, the Discord link is in the description. Um, I, you could just send them in chat, honestly. I don't really... It, it doesn't make a difference to me. Just might be more organized that way. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, I have to go to the bathroom, actually. So I'm going to go run to do that. And you guys should send your Nintendo Network IDs. And then when I come back, I can add people and we can try to do a private battle. That sounds good to me, hopefully. Okay, BRB. I'm back. Hello. Um, he's gonna fall into the toilet. As an art, well, I, I don't mean RPGs. Sorry, uh, I know we're talking about friend codes right now, <laughs> but just to continue that discussion, um, when I say I don't like movie games, I mostly mean kind of like you know the big blockbuster like PlayStation stuff. Um. RPGs can have really in-depth gameplay mechanics. I, I normally personally don't prefer like turn-based combat and stuff, but I, I can. It just depends on the, the context and the mechanics. Um, but that's... I love RPGs, I think. I mean... 
I think RPGs can can be very, 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 very good at telling stories, and they typically utilize the medium of games in very interesting ways to tell stories. So I, I assume people are looking for their IDs or something. I, I don't know. I can check how, <laughs> how to find it myself. Oh, wait. Okay. Hang on. It would be way easier for people to just add me, right? <laughs> Maybe I should just do that instead. Sorry, I've, I've never had to add friends before because I just didn't do viewer battles before. And then we've done it with pools in Splatoon 3. So <laughs> it'd be way easier if you guys just added me, right? So if you want to, here, mine is right there. It's <laughs> it's like my old username that I made as a kid. It's epic CSB. Um, <laughs> but if you guys just add that, I can just add you guys. That'd be easier, probably. So. We will just do that. Yeah. I, I don't like Pokemon. <laughs> That's a whole other conversation. I, I as a casual player, I think Pokemon is extremely boring to just play through the story. Um, I mean, I, I just I like um, I like when there's like some element of execution involved, um, like Paper Mario. Um, Bug Fables, which was inspired by Paper Mario. <laughs> Even things like, um, I didn't get very far in Chrono Trigger, but there's really cool stuff in Chrono Trigger where, like, the positioning of your party actually matters, and you can do, like, combo attacks and stuff. Like, I mean, that's more, that's less, like, a timing thing, but, um, I just, I don't like when it's choosing options from a menu, <laughs> but if there's some kind of interesting mechanic there. Um, Amori Combat I thought was really fun, actually, um, because there's kind of, like, the characters can like have different emotions like they can be angry or sad or happy and that like modifies their stats like i think i don't remember exactly what it is i think sad like makes them do more damage but like take more damage or whatever so you can just kind of in real time like adjust how powerful things are or you know kind of the build of your party and then there's also like you can have to make quick decisions where you're able to do like an extra action while the character is doing their turn but if you don't press it then they don't do it and then you can save up energy and then do like a big attack so it's like you know, just stuff that, you know, lets you strategize, but also kind of... I, I think the real-time elements for me are very fun. Um, so... I... That's the kind of stuff I like, I guess. And then I I mean, I, I love Undertale, but Undertale is, you know... It's not actually much of an RPG. <laughs> like, you only have one attack, because you, you do the axe, you don't really normally do the attack, and then... Obviously, that has the bullet hell combat, which I think is awesome. Um, but it's not much of an RPG, really. And also, you know, if you play through the game the quote unquote correct way or, you know, the way that gives you the best ending, you're not even leveling up. So. <laughs> I, I really liked Amori, actually. I, I, I was surprised by how well the gameplay went for me in Amori because I, I still consider myself like I didn't grow up with RPGs so I'm always a little more intimidated by an RPG than like most other kinds of games um just because I'm scared I'm gonna like get stuck and not know what to do from a puzzle or like you know be under leveled or whatever um which most of those issues are you know largely solved by more modern RPGs but um Omori, I was like over leveled. I don't even know how I, I just <laughs> something with the game just like clicked with me and I, I it went very very well in my playthrough Um, that'd be cool, Smack. Thank you. So I don't know how many people wanted to play. We've added, I've only added like two people, right? Um, and I we have Eilina playing, we have Smack playing. So wait, me, Smack, two other people, Eilina. I guess we could probably just go in. We could do what Smack said. We'll try and make the room, and if... You're still trying- well, you, you don't- I guess it would appear. <laughs> um, but okay. Sorry, I don't know why I pressed down. Um... We'll- we'll- we'll just figure it out. We'll just- we'll play by ear. Um, but you guys should be able to join me now. 
Yeah, so Amori... Um, psychological horror, like, really gets to me. Like, I was horrified of Amori. <laughs> it was, it was really, like, it was a... I, I've mentioned this, I think, several times before, actually, on stream, but it was... It was a difficult game for me to get through. Um, <laughs> like, legitimately. But it was... It was very satisfying. It was very fulfilling to complete it and i i really um i was really invested in its story so i liked amori a lot <laughs> you could join later if you figure it out okay so well we have five right now um <laughs> they all tried to leading you into the jump scare yeah I, I also, I played it in a Discord VC. When I play games like that, I'll, I'll there are moments where sometimes I'll just deafen because I just want to have it be me and the game. Um, like, there's lots of games where I, I want to just be fully immersed and kind of just, you know, just just have myself not have other distractions. But with Amori, sometimes I would then unmute because I was, like, afraid of things and I'm like, I wanted to talk to people. Like, I talked to my friends all through um Black Space, pretty much, <laughs> which is, like, the... It's supposed to be the scariest part of the game. I actually don't know if it is, but um, <laughs> it's like the, the trippy weird part. I, yeah. You playing Amori would be interesting, Eilina. I think it would be also a difficult game for you to get through, probably. I don't know. I mean, I think it's weird that people can be less affected by it, because for me, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so... I just, I don't know, especially like recently playing with, um, playing one shot last night. I'm just like, I feel like a lot of the most artistic video games I know are, you know, games that are just like simple graphics that like the whole time you're kind of aware it's just you interacting with a computer, but it's like, I guess just, just indie games tend to have more of a well-defined vision, I guess, because they're made by smaller teams. Um... But I can get, I can just get so deeply invested in those kinds of stories, and it's just like, I don't know, there's something special about games like that. Um, I haven't played Ace Attorney. I wouldn't be against Ace Attorney. I, <laughs> I don't know, it's a little too, um, you know, it's kind of part visual novel, like part puzzle solving from, from what I know of it, um, so it's normally I would like games with more gameplay than that, but um, I think I could still get invested in it. Like it's I just I don't like games when I say I don't like movie games. It's not like I don't mean to say I don't like games that are mostly story. I just don't like games that are like realistic graphics and super cinematic and big orchestral score that just sounds, you know, like a movie with no actual like, you know, I, I like music with like very memorable melodies. I like characters. I just, I like reading dialogue more than voice dialogue. I think, I don't know if that's a weird take. I just, I, there's something about advancing through text boxes where I feel like I am more invested in a story than a movie, like than a cutscene. I don't know. And like, there can be cutscenes with dialogue and I don't mind it, but it's, um, oh, you sent the friend quote. Sorry. I've not been paying attention. My bad. I'll, I'll accept that. Actually, I, I maybe could have just hit the home thing. I think it would have disconnected me. I don't know. Regardless. Okay. You're you're a good sanic dude. I that was my bad. I mean I I didn't take that long. Oh, two friend requests. Okay. Oh shoot. Are we gonna end up with a, an odd number of people again? <laughs> uh You're good. I was ranting about other things anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, Valve Valve storytelling is really cool. I mean, I've I've only played I've played Portal 1 and 2. Um I've not played Half-Life or anything, but I their their method of storytelling is very cool and that that is voice acted dialogue. Um I guess yeah. I mean, cuz it's voice acted, but it's like proximity based. You know, it's like it's actually the sound is coming from a source in the world and you're able to interact with that source. I think that makes it feel... I think I just kind of get taken out of the experience when I'm just watching a cutscene, I guess. Um, 
It doesn't really happen for Splatoon. Because, I mean, Splatoon... I don't know. I, can, I don't know exactly why it works for me with Splatoon, but it, I don't know. I guess it's just so little of the game is actually made up of the cutscenes. Um, I have played Xenoblade 3. Um, I liked Xenoblade 3. It's not, it's not a game that, like, you know, changed my life. <laughs> I did cry at one point. <laughs> um, I was very, I was very into the story of Xenoblade 3. The gameplay wasn't really for me. Uh, okay, so Smack is going to sit out, so we're doing a 3v3. Okay, thank you, Smack. Um, I'm just going with this, honestly. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't dislike cutscenes in Splatoon. I think I, I didn't really like at the end of... There are so many things I can say about the end of Return of the Mammalians, as you all know very much. Um, I really didn't like how long the cutscenes were in the middle of the boss fight. <laughs> so, I, for me, like, Octo Expansion is the perfect balance, I think. You know, we have cutscenes with eight at the beginning that give them some characterization. We have cutscenes at the end that, you know, um, do justice to, you know, the stakes of the story. Um and are, you know, timed with the, the music and everything, and are, are just fun to watch without taking too much away from just the game itself. So. But yeah, here we go. Finally, finally in a PB. Finally playing Splatoon 1 again. <laughs> Enough about all those other games. Cool. I mean, Xenoblade looks pretty good for a Switch game. Um... I do think, I think people oversell how good the environments look sometimes. <laughs> I don't think it's like, it's not an art style that appealed to me uh, like a crazy amount, but I, I didn't dislike it by any means. I thought it looked pretty great. Yeah, I, there's, they, they don't really do too much to characterize Neo 3 in like as far as animations in the cutscenes, which I think is a missed opportunity, but again, it's like the Agent 4 thing. It's like, if it was there, I would appreciate it, but it's not there, so <laughs> uh, I don't know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh, that was very, very close. <laughs> I was scared I was gonna mess up. Climb that wall, and I died anyway. Okay, that's fine. We got, we got a few more points. Oh, this yeah, this is my favorite song. This is my favorite song in the in the game, <laughs> tied with "Ink Me Up" maybe, but you know that that can't play in the game anymore. So, yes, we have this one. <laughs> um, or wait, second favorite song? No, shoot, I thought this was "Split and Split." This is Shelby. Still very very good. I think I think this is a different one. Yeah yeah yeah. No, sorry sorry. This is Shelby. Boosh. Um, 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 um. Oh my god. Calamari Incantation is, is very, very good. Um, this one... Oh god. Chirpy Chip songs, for me, in, embody more of the feeling of Splatoon 1, I guess, but I, I still love Calamari Incantation. Well, to be fair, I did just confuse the two songs, so I guess I don't have a very strong argument here, but <laughs> I would say they all, they all sound the same. Oh my god. I mean, I definitely, I can hear, I can normally hear and identify them, it's just, I did not realize for a second. Yeah, I really, I really like this ink color. But this is, this is kind of the ink I had in mind when making, um, it's not exactly the same, but <laughs> my, my channel logo is like, the orange and light blue. It's kind of more like the Splatoon 3 version of, of this palette, but. Oh god. I, I'm just an, enough of a nerd, I guess, that I know all the names of the songs. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, definitely they they sound they sound pretty similar. 
Do, 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 do. Oh, hey, Kraken. Uh, I should not have tapped CR. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, that jump is very screwed. <laughs> Bam, 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 bam. Oh, all oh, right, smack a say now. I'm like, <laughs> why, are you, why are you doing that? Because that's what he's supposed to be doing. Uh. Okay. Did I mean to throw? I throw points since they're so often on accident. I don't know why. Oh my god. But yeah, the way I have to hold the gamepad is like... I guess just because my hands are bigger. I don't really know whose hands they designed the gamepad for, because I don't think my hands are particularly big. But... <laughs> I press the trigger with my middle finger, not my index finger. I guess that's not that weird. Well, sometimes I do it with almost like my ring... Like, I, I have my hand very, like, shifted up compared to how I use the Pro Controller. Yeah, you have to use the gamepad. Or at least, you don't have a map if you don't use the gamepad. I think it literally doesn't let you use the Pro Controller, though. Because you wouldn't be able to use Ink Strike, either. Um... I actually charged my special. Oh, or, or that is not needed. Okay. Well, GG's. That's game one. Not, not, don't know what I'm talking about like it's a competitive set, but <laughs> that is the first game of the PB. <laughs> yeah, smack is cracked. He carried, obviously. First time I got S1 and I die by a sprinkler. Oh my god. Oh yeah, there's not a random stage option in this game, is there? I think you have to just manually select. I think there's not. Oh wait, did something weird happen? Oh, oh, because we have four. <laughs> um, I feel bad making you sit out, Eilina. I don't know. <laughs> Someone should. I, I mean, it should be me or you. No, no, I, I, I don't want to make a. I mean, I, <laughs> I don't want to make a viewer do it. Eilina is my friend, so I can. I, I'll do it. You know, I'll. Um, the problem with me doing it is I don't want the stream to be boring, but... <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Thank you, Eilina. Thank you. <laughs> I'm over overcomplicating the issue. You already agreed to do it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you don't have, like, the full menu. You just, just press left and right to switch between the maps. Oh, this is the song. <laughs> now we got Swan Spot. There it is. Do, 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 you and me. Okay. Uh, are they over here? They're not over here. I'm over here. I'm gonna go over here. Oh, they have the zone. Maybe I should not be over here. Oh. Oh, I thought I got them for a second. It takes so long to paint this one. Oh my goodness. I I should have swam. I don't know why I was throwing a wall. I was next to a wall anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think... Uh, this is, like, the most, like, English lyric-sounding song probably, like, 
one of the most in the whole series, I feel like. It is very easy to sing along to, even though they're not real words. You can just pretend they are. Oh my god. Well, it sounds like they are real words. Come on. I know, um... What's his name? Pat from J Music. I don't know if any of you guys know, there's like a... He's a guy who plays saxophone, and he, like, does video game covers of stuff. Uh, oh boy! <laughs> Killer whale trade, interesting. Hello. Um, <laughs> but, um... He, he played some Splatoon 1 music once on, on sax, and he he also sang you and me there. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I've been doing that since I've been playing Splatoon 1, but I, I, I do think it is a thing. It just... It just sounds like it. Oh my god. And, oh, we have one point left. Hey, we should paint that zone, everybody. Maybe... Potentially... Oh! That's not good. Uh, oh, they already capped it. For some reason I thought they had not yet done that. Whoa, there! Oh my god. Nope. Um, okay, well. Instantly got some revenge there. Bum 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 ba -da -ba -da bum bum I love how this part of the song it like the It like shifts from the left to the right. If you're, like, wearing the headphones, the stereo sound, like, they actually made it, like, go back and forth, and it is very cool to listen to. That didn't... Oh, they just... Oh, they got away. Oh, my God. I'm not very good at... I mean, this, um... This map is wide enough that you're able to avoid Killer Whale pretty easily, I guess, but I... I guess it's more for pressuring people out of an area than necessarily actually killing them. But on some of the more narrow maps, there, there are places where you can basically trap people. I do not like how long we've had this zone not captured. Oh, get splash walled. Get splash walled. Oh, I still died. Shoot. I was hoping to get both of them there. Oh, they're actually getting close to getting points again. Okay, ink strength. We got ink strength on the zone, that's good. Uh, shoot. There we go, we're close, we're close to getting it. There we go, there we go. There's not the meter on the top to tell you, like, how much you painted, so... It's harder to know. Oh, you were right there. <laughs> I was looking at the guy way down the grate. I'm not doing... I'm doing okay. I mean, well, no, that's not... That's pretty bad, actually. <laughs> I... I'm not exactly carrying the, the weight of the team here, but <laughs> doing my best. Um... Was there anyone else? I, th are, I think we are. There's one other person who wanted to join, right? In a couple of minutes? Okay, cool. That's fine. Wearing your outfit and your honor and you say you look horrible. Wow.
That uh, that works for now. We're only doing one game until we have eight, probably, so. Okay. Thank you, Smack. Tower Museum. You gotta do a squid party? Maybe at the end. I mean, I do, so now that more people are here, maybe, I, I mentioned this at the start of the stream, um, I am planning to stream on Monday when the servers go down, so, um, I don't know. If there's any, any last minute, like, ritual or whatever you want to do, that, um, that would be the time to do it, probably. At what time Monday? I'm pretty sure the servers go down 6 p.m. EST, so I would stream, I would be live like around this time, um, probably a little earlier. Um, 6 p.m. to 9. I think you'd be okay. Yeah, no, you'd be okay. I don't know if this is the best uh, weapon for tower control, but I, I used to play this weapon a lot, actually, in the first game, so... Give it a shot. Oh my god. I'm very glad damage up is not in Splatoon 3. But man, did it make Inkbrush more fun to play. <laughs> I just wanted damage buff for, for Inkbrush. I feel like it is... so much more fun in this game. I did not really mean to jump all the way off. Good. Oh, all oh, the bomb killed. Nice. No. There we go. Boom, ba -dum, boom. Oh god. So yeah, um, I don't know how many people currently here, obviously you guys are playing so you can't type in chat, but <laughs> um, if anyone would be interested in playing the day the servers go down this Monday around this time, feel free to stop by. Oh god. Well actually, I probably will be playing with a lot of my friends, um, so I don't know how much room there would be in the PB, but still, if you wanted to hang out. <laughs> We'll see, we'll see how- I, I don't know how many people will actually be able to show up then, so... Not sure how it will turn out. This whole platform is just not there in Splatoon 3, it's interesting. Oh god. Now or never while squid bagging in the plaza, yeah. Oh god. Yeah, I don't know what the most appropriate way would be to go out. I mean, I'm kind of not even sure what the extent of the shutdown will mean. Like, I assume we can't do private battles anymore? Like, I, I think it's just everything in the battle tower would not be available. So... I mean, I guess I would like to end playing a game if I can. Oh. Um, um, yeah, nope, that was a bad time for Kraken to run out. Yeah, I think, I think you'll just enter Inkopolis Tower and it will just give you, like, a, the same type of notification as the Miiverse one. Which will be, be a sad moment. I mean, the fan servers do exist, but I, I I don't know. I'm gonna make a pretendo because I want Splatoon to, I I want Splatoon one to you know still be able to stay alive, but I, I it, it will be the end for a lot of people. Like a lot of people aren't gonna do that, <laughs> and it's it's you know dubious how many people are actually gonna be consistently on pretendo. But the game, you know. The game has been dying for years, like, <laughs> it's been hard to find matches anyway for a while, so... I'm glad we can give it one last kind of hurrah before it goes back to a state of being difficult to find games, also rip by Lena. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, you you probably you no uh, <laughs> you won't even be able to go into the shops, will you? Shoot, I should double check to make make sure I have all the gear. <laughs> I think I have all the gear in this game, but I'm not 100%. And I would definitely want to, just for completion's sake. No, I mean, the shops don't. The shops always ask you to connect. If you're not connected to the internet, all the shopkeepers will tell you to go online. I'm pretty sure it's the case in all three games. I don't know. I'm pretty confident they don't work in the later games, but <laughs> I guess if you, I mean, if you've checked. Because, I mean, the shops have to check what the, like, if the day has switched over to give you a new selection. Okay, well, fair enough. Here we go. Uh, oh, we're actually winning. I thought we were losing for some reason. Cool. <laughs> uh, unless we fumble this at the end. Nope, we're good. Do, do, do. Oh, right, so now... Right, so I think I forgot to answer. Um, Rat of Pain, if you are still here. Um, just add me. Uh, this is my Nintendo Network ID. <laughs> this is my cringy old username. Um, I can add you and then we can get everyone in here. Do, do. Your, your Wii U gamepad was being mean. It was taunting for you. I wonder if these, these messages popping up are things that haven't been updated in years, or if... <laughs> I, I always forget these were a thing. Uh, the things would pop up. Do, do, do. Ooh. Glad it's only half cringe. There we go. Cool. Nice. Yeah, I still have Vantastic added, which is funny. Vantastic did a, um, like, viewer 1v1 thing in, like, I think it was, like, late 2017. <laughs> um, I'm in the video for, like, half a second. <laughs> that was just one of the last things to happen in... It would have been late 26... Would have been... It would have been early 2017. Probably. Huh. Or late 2016. I don't remember. But it feels like... That feels too early. <laughs> oh. Do -do -boop -ba -doom -boom. <laughs> Wait a minute, did we lose someone? Or are we down to seven? Didn't we didn't we have seven? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Um Oh JCO isn't here. Um Trying to see the last thing they said in chat. I know they weren't JCO in chat, which is confusing, right? They they were the they were BD. Um, 
If you are still here, BD, it would be cool if you are able to rejoin. <laughs> um, if you're not, we could just go back to doing 3v3s. Yeah, I mean, we're just we're just playing for fun, Cynic, dude. It's no big deal. No pressure here. Oh, your internet cut out. Okay. That's fine. Um, It's up to you if we if you guys wanted to play a game and just have someone sit out again. We could do that while we wait. Don't worry, I'm also only half player. I mean, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm that good at Splatoon 1. <laughs> I don't know. I My KDs haven't been exactly impressive, so. Really do not feel like there's any pressure. Well, I mean, yeah. M maybe you, Idlina, because you like don't. You don't play Splatoon anymore because your Switch stopped working or whatever. Your Splatoon stopped working. But I feel like for people who semi-regularly play Splatoon 3, I don't know. Yeah, it is weird to go back to S1. I mean, I think the gamepad feels good. Like, I don't know. It's The ideal situation would be a pro controller that had no... Im um, input delay with the motion, but because Splatoon 1 has no input delay, for me the gamepad, it's worth it um, for the faster response time, but... Um, obviously it is, it is still an adjustment to make. Do, 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 do. Also, not particularly relevant to what we're talking about, but I'm almost at 9,000 subs. I haven't really acknowledged a lot of the subscriber milestones because a lot of it kind of happened at once when I made the video essay. Um, but I am really grateful um, and it is really cool and I feel like I should do something. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Nice. JCO is back. Or BD. Whatever whatever name you prefer, I guess. <laughs> Probably YouTube name is the, the safer one, but anyway. Um, oh yeah, wait. Can we do anchovy? Yeah. Cool. Little PB. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know what I would do for a 9,000 subs special, but that is something that seems to be on the horizon. Yeah, we'll, we'll do, I mean, what I'm sure Smack is the host, but I'm sure he can select, uh, all of the iconic Splatoon 1 maps. 10k before graduation. That'd be a cool goal. I don't know. That would mean I'm grinding YouTube instead of grinding college before graduating, which might be a little dangerous, but, um... <laughs> I'll go with this. Yeah, I want to do... That Mori Rainmaker rotation earlier was really fun. I'd like to do that again. Maybe next time we play Rainmaker. I like old Anchovy, dude. I don't know. I like the Splatoon 2 version also, but I, I'm a big fan. A big fan. Ha, fan. <laughs> of the fans. Wow, look at that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I like... I like this layout. I love cracking up too. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it ends up at the slow kill time. It's kind of... Um, I don't know. I like, I like this weapon, but it's not... Always super good in situations like that. I love that you have this little route over here. This is the kind of stuff Splatoon 3 would just never do, and I miss those things. I keep freaking out of splat bombs and not point sensor because I was playing the other ends up. Oh. Oh, I actually got two with that. Okay. Probably not super worth it because I died, but. I'll take it. It's me, I would order really good sushi and share it with no one and give myself a pat on the back for the subs. I mean, yeah. 
But that's basically what I've been doing for all the other- <laughs> My point is I've been giving myself a pat on the back. And I would like to kind of do something to celebrate and give it back to the viewers. Oh god, there we go. Um... Oh, I thought it showed that out of ink, so I was thinking that might not actually attack, but then it did. I always- it always sounded to me like they were saying 1990 in this song, too. Speaking of the songs that sound like English words. <laughs> I don't know. I know that's just because, like, Splatoon- Splatoon 1 especially has, like, a very 90s vibe and aesthetic. Did two people just fall off the map there? <laughs> I'm not sure if that was one or two. It looked like two people actually fell down that hole. Um. Oh no. I was hoping I could climb the side of the slope there, but did not expect Eilina. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Just the movement on the maps is so fun. I just miss the way that feels, dude. <laughs> so two and three would be the peak game if they just. Gave us walls. <laughs> Gave us things to climb on. Um, where are you? Uh-oh. This is the thing you can do, by the way. Oh, gotcha. Oh, uh, okay, trade at least. In pretty good Rainmaker position, I guess. I mean, we're not getting that, but <laughs> I still got that far. Um, hold on. Now Splatoon. Ah! Uh, oh, somehow that bomb cut at least. Yeah. On, on a map like this, I think the Rainmaker is super fun. Actually, I forgot how fun this map was for Rainmaker. I'm, I'm kind of love this right now. <laughs> Uh, Anchovy's kind of weird on some of the other modes, but it's- I really like it for Rainmaker. I remember always thinking this should have been the main theme instead of Splatack, because they say Splatoon in it. <laughs> oh god. I just- I just like cracking up a lot, too. Um, uh, over here. Wait, can I do like this? Wait, oh that's so cool. Wait, that's so cool that that's paintable. No, okay. That would have been a really cool dunk. I love that design on the map though. Wait, that's so fun. <laughs> that's just like cool. I forgot that like, I don't know if I ever knew this existed that you could like paint that ledge there. I, I don't know why I like that so much. <laughs> that's just really neat. Oh, uh, we'll get it. Uh, one of us will get it. Just keep brute forcing it. Yep. There we go. Oh, keeping- okay, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, I don't know- I don't know what we could do to make the connection better, but... Hopefully no one disconnects at least. Oh, someone did DC. Shoot. You have literally never played Rainmaker before? Oh. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, okay, Sanic dude. Um Pinky, should we wait for you to try and reconnect, or do you think it's just gonna, not going to work? I probably won't play Splatoon 3 later. Um, it's already been three hours. I, I'll probably end this stream whenever this, um, 
he be disbands, I guess. Yeah, thanks for playing, Sanic Dude. Glad you had fun. Maybe see you. Well, I don't know. I don't want to promise. Um, I'm gonna stream on Monday for sure. But I would like. I'd probably like to end it playing with um, a bunch of my friends who have the game still. So I don't know how many viewers will be able to get in, but maybe earlier. I, I'm trying to think how long I want the stream to be because um. Let me see. When, when does the eclipse happen? Because I, I want to see. What did, I want to see the. Okay, I just typed in when does and it autofilled. But it just. It, it, but what time? Um. 2 p.m. The totality begins at 3:20 p.m. Is this EST? I think so. Yes, I. I yeah, sorry. I'm asking. I'm asking Google or asking hypothetically, not asking you guys. I know you. <laughs> um, I'm trying to Google it. Um. Why is this website not say what time zone? I think it's around 3 EST. So, okay, yeah. Totality begins 3.13 p.m. EST. So... I think, the, I think Splatoon dies three hours after that. So do I start streaming then, or do I stream... Pause stream to watch the eclipse <laughs> and go or go back to I don't know. I'll probably just stream after it. That just seems kind of short. Like that's only well, I was gonna say that's only one rotation, but I guess we're probably gonna be playing private battles anyway. So yeah, I mean the eclipse itself is not long. So you're right. You're right. Okay. What am I choosing? By the way, smack. Um, I think I think this is all we have. So. We're probably going to have to do 3v3s again. I I don't know who I'm choosing for Splatfest. I don't really have strong thoughts on any of them, honestly. Um, might go big man, just because. I don't know, people are calling it the FNAF Splatfest. So, <laughs> Freddy Fazbear. I don't, I don't play FNAF. I don't have thoughts on that either. It's just a meme. I, <laughs> I don't know. Piranha Pit. I miss Piranha Pit. I wish it was in 3. This this is a Piranha Pit type weapon, I think. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Spring, it's cool that Springfest is a thing again, and the outfits are cool. <laughs> I like that off the hook is just like, not spring. <laughs> They're just like, you know, their outfits are really cool. I like their outfits the best, um, but <laughs> they're not very spring themed, but it's it's funny. Um, but yeah, the, the theme itself is like, I I don't know. I'm not, I don't say I'm not an animal. I'm not really an animal person. I don't know. Like, I'm not, <laughs> I have a pet dog. If there was a if there was a dog team, I would vote for that. But they already did that back in Splatoon One. But um, do not have any real inclination towards baby chicks, bears, or bunnies. I've not experienced either, really, <laughs> or any. I don't know. What to check your gear before remembering you had nothing? Yeah, but I don't know why you had to make a new account. But um. I guess you have to <laughs> have to use Junior, which is a little unfortunate, but oh, well, maybe on zones, I guess it's there are probably worse options. Oh my god, I've heard, the zones are actually bigger, I think, in this game than Splatoon 2. Um. Um. Okay, this is not going. Here we go. I, oh, I kind of mistapped. I didn't mean for that to actually go there. Uh, you know what? I actually totally meant for that to go there. It was actually exactly what I wanted to happen. Ah, oh, shoot. I was hoping I could at least make that a trade. Uh, okay, they got the zone. 
do 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 no 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 I like Clan Blitz a lot more in Splatoon 3. Um it is still probably my least favorite of the four modes. But I don't really dislike it necessarily. Just on certain maps. Man. Bomb bomb bomb. This song is goofy. I like the instrumental part in like the second half. The the death metal vocals I don't like as much. <laughs> do 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 do. This part. This is the good part. <laughs> I remember I'd always used to say that the only part of Splatoon's OST I didn't like is the first half of Metalopod. I literally just love every other song in its entirety. This is not going very well for our team though. Um the last chance if we cap our own zone, maybe. Maybe there's a chance. Oh my god, we actually did, but then they're gonna... Yeah. Yeah, that was not a good matchup. Oh! They're trying to save it. Trying to save it. Okay. GG. <laughs> do 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 What if it was the one you didn't like? Oh. I think I didn't like it back in Splatoon 1, but like, I like it now. <laughs> I don't for whatever reason when I was younger. Oh, wait. Dumahi. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Finally get to play on peak. I'm not sure what Smack's method for defining. I think he's just trying to put himself on the team of four so we can sit out, but I don't know what, what method we're using here. Oh, hi, Mike. Um, yeah. Um... Here, I, I can type in my name again. Maybe I should... Here, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna pin this. Um... I'll see you, Octo. Thanks for hanging out and talking about lore and things. <laughs> it's been a fun stream. Well, I'm, I'm not leaving, but... <laughs> hope you had fun. I had fun. Um, so yeah, um, Mike or anyone else, if you want to add me, that is my Nintendo Network ID and I will add people between games. Um, do, oh, I'm out of time. We're using this. <laughs> Mahi Mahi. The real Mahi Mahi. As it was meant to be. It's as beautiful as the day I first saw it. Oh right, and yeah, the the devs knew that the map gets better when the water raises. So in tower control, it just does that automatically. I don't know why Splatoon 3 Mahi Tower Control does not also do that. Because <laughs> it just makes the game more playable. There's all this room and all these walls. It's beautiful. I can send an ink strike to your location. I don't think they're actually there anymore. That's fine. Do 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 do. Ba -da -ba -dum. Ba -da -ba -dum. I think Squid Squad's other songs are underrated. Maybe not cracking up, but like I, I really like um. I think this is is this Inker Sinker Skis. Seascape. Oh my goodness, I cannot say that word. Um, this is Inker Sync, right? I think it is. <laughs> I really like Inker Sync and Seascape, and I think they are not discussed. This is a weird, like, remote part of the map. I kind of forgot this existed. Oh, and this is the flank, the beautiful flank. 
and that I that I messed up that I always okay well <laughs> to be fair that that in itself is a bit of a nostalgic memory oh that's well I, d I don't know why my voice just did that <laughs> I'd like to say I did that on purpose but that was like half trying to be funny half voice cracking I don't even know if half is fair we pushed it to five? Okay, hold on. The team... I was just wandering while my team was, like, totally going in. Um, good job, guys. I was... <laughs> could be helping a lot more. This map is so big, I feel like I'm not even, like, interacting with the enemies. Oh, my God. Um, oh. Okay, goodbye, bubble. <laughs> Where is my strike? There's my strike. Who is going to die? We're gonna just throw it there. I don't know how helpful that actually was, but it's there. Um, oh yeah, you can go around here. Oh! Whoa! Oh, okay, you were aiming at them, and then you aimed at me. And- wait, did you fall in the water? No. <laughs> the reveal. Okay, um, I mean, obviously this is going pretty well for us. <laughs> Might just charge another ink strike. Shoot, 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 ah. Oh. <laughs> that was very abrupt. Shoot. Um. <laughs> oh, did Smack idle? Oh, his Wii U crashed. Oh. Well. Um. Hmm. I'm almost wondering if we should end it there. Because this is, this is my normal stream length, and I... Hmm, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. It's maybe it's up to you, Smack. Do you think you'll try and fix it and get back on, or we can we can get it back together? We I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do here. It's back on. Okay. We'll we'll, we'll keep going for a little bit longer then, if you're willing. What is, why, why are why are these emojis like this? Okay, and to flow. I mean, we're not any like, you know, this isn't the end of Splatoon One because I'll stream on Monday, so I don't want to make a big dramatic moment right now. But, <laughs> um. It'd be nice to go a little bit longer, because we I feel like we just got in there with all the you know. We barely got to even play with eight players. Uh speaking of actually. I don't know if someone there we go. Why don't why don't we spend some time looking at nature? This is honestly one of the things I'm I'm most sad about with Splatoon going down. Is that you won't be able to recon maps anymore. I assume. What was that? Can you make it like a documentary? Oh god. Um, I don't know if there are any animals ob to observe. There is a natural habitat with bird sounds.
I, I, I don't know the names of birds. <laughs> like to say here we hear the, the sounds of the, of the something. Well, recon itself doesn't require an internet connection, but it requires you to be in the lobby. <laughs> and I, I think going to the, because when you enter the lobby in Splatoon is when the game attempts to connect to the internet, if it's not already. It depends how it works, because if you, either you will click like a regular battle and ranked and then it will give you an error, or you'll just enter the lobby and it will give you an error. And if it, if it's just when you enter the lobby, then recon will not be accessible. Well, yeah, I'm not talking about three, though. Because, I mean, these maps aren't in three. Just hearing the sound design, like... I don't know. There's so much effort that goes into making these maps feel alive, even, like, in this mode where you're not actually playing the game. <laughs> Get in the PB? Or what? Sorry, I'm... I'm... Relaxing by the lake. Okay. Ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo. Oh. It's up, I was letting him relax by the way. Okay, thank you, Smack. Rainmaker Moray, there we go. Okay. Um There we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, if anyone like to join now is your chance there we go hey okay okay full lobby nice um sorry i just accidentally opened discord somehow <laughs> cool did it just play a join sound what okay that was weird um <laughs> What was I playing before? I played this earlier and it was super fun. I don't remember what I was playing. Oh, I think I was on, um, I think I was on Barry. Yeah, let's do this. Do, 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 do. So yeah, um, I don't know how much more we're going to play, but as long as we have eight people, I feel like we might just keep on rolling with it. So, I mean, I'm willing to go for a good, I don't know. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just play bigger. <laughs> oh, they're, oh, it's literally their legal full name. Okay. <laughs> That's why that makes sense. Yeah, unfortunate that you had to do that, but at least you're able to play. Cool. Oh yeah, the uh, the booyah comes from the gamepad. <laughs> oh, I love this map. In, in this mode, in this mode, I love this map. <laughs> I don't always love this map, but I do. I do right now. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to fall. I'm going to fall. No, I didn't fall. I didn't fall. Nice. Okay. That was a wipe. <laughs> go, 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 go. Uh, Alina, paint the overlook. Maybe. I, I know I know. there's stream delay, but I. <laughs> someone can paint this wall for me. Ah, uh, that like half painted it. Okay. Help me up here, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes. Okay. We got to the top. Uh, did that? I think it didn't count. Ah, uh, shoot. Yeah, this map was in one. It, it was, um... It's a little different, like there's a little less terrain, <laughs> but yes, it was. Oh god, oh god, ah! It's also in Smash Bros, wow. What, what was <laughs> the camera doing there? Yeah, I did remember to wear quick respawn and stealth jump. Oh my goodness gracious. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I did remember to wear those this time, which are good for Rainmaker, so that's nice. Uh, all right, they're going for it. Oh, they're heading for the Overlook Wall. 
Come on, come on, come on. Oh, they didn't. Okay, they didn't paint in time. Good. No, 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 no. No, you don't. No, you don't. What do you mean they got? Well, what? Was that lag? Was that lag or was I blind? I swear. I swear they fell. Oh my god. I haven't used a bomb rush in a while. Wow. Oh my god, that lasts for a long time. <laughs> I think the bomb rushes in Splatoon 1 did a lot more than the bomb launchers in 2. Oh, nice. Should be using more suction bombs, honestly. Mm, okay, well. This is something we can do. I tried to squid surge. Oh, I hope I, I hope that was the sound of someone falling off the map and not disconnecting. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, every, everyone's still in the game. Good. <laughs> the only way you can tell if someone disconnects in Splatoon is if the X on their squid lasts for too long <laughs> or they should have respawned by then but I, I saw everyone alive for at least a second there oh my god we don't have to take it this way by the way <laughs> keep that in mind i know i've been the one trying to do it but that's fine that's fine okay i got that i got that here you can also climb this wall oh my god okay that's fine go the long way oh because we can wrap around here. Like, there's genuinely so many options on this map. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> that was kind of close. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, shoot. There's a path. There's a path. Yes. 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 Let's do it. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Okay. I should have gone further ahead, probably. Um... You got it. Nice. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, shoot. Nice. I love- I really like this map. <laughs> I really like this map in Rainmaker. I think it's super fun. Man. <laughs> Yeah, it's a weird, it's a weird map, but I like it. So, no? I don't think anyone DC'd. Did they? Or did, did they get replaced or something? Smack, can we do Flounder Heights? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Flounder Heights, yes. Flounder Heights zones. Oh my god, yes. So, I don't know. At least for a time, and, and possibly still, this was just my favorite, like, everything. This, like, this is Flounder Zones to me is peak Splatoon. So, I'm very happy about this. <laughs> Not sure what weapon to play on it, though. Maybe this could be fun? Maybe just shot. Maybe maybe just stick to, you know, shot and bomb. Sounds good to me. Splatoon 1 Flounder Heights is is just beautiful. <laughs> I love it so much. Do 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 do. I remember during Splatoon 2, I had like over the course of the five years of Splatoon 2, I think I had like three different dreams about Flounder Heights coming back. <laughs> and then they brought it back in three, but they kind of, they kind of, kind of ruined it a lot. Um, <laughs> but here we go. Oh, look how tall it is. It's beautiful. Oh, I see you. I see you. Nice. <laughs> there's just so many. There's so much cool potential for movement on this map and so many 
walls you can cling onto and move around and it's it's just it's just a good time. Um there we go. Okay, we already had the painted. No we didn't, no we didn't. Wow. Yeah, it's hard to paint zones in Splatoon 1. You like you need more of the zone. I'm not sure. I think it's you need more of the zone and the weapons mostly paint worse. Do do do. Oh, oh, look at this. It's so beautiful and grassy and large. <laughs> they got rid of the grass in Splatoon 3, and I, I will never understand that. Uh, oh boy. Whoa. Um, there we go. Strike that other zone. There we go. I love how it's like, uh, the sun is like, it's not quite setting, but like it feels like later in the day. I don't know, the Splatoon 3 version is like perfectly at noon. This one, like, the lighting feels a lot more like dynamic and interesting. Ah, shoot. Nice. Oh. oh, shoot. Oh, that was smack. Uh, oh, maybe not the best jump in the world, but I have stealth jump, so they don't even know. Wow, <laughs> Splatoon 1. Oh, shoot. Uh, <laughs> zone is flipping. Oh, my God. Uh, I see you, Slusher. I think. Oh god, oh god. See, part of me- <laughs> I, I was not trying to let them get it. Part of me doesn't even mind they got the zones, because now we can just spend more time playing on Flounder. This route. Oh, this route is so cool. <laughs> can you make- I'm not sure if you can make that jump all the way to the great. Oh shoot. I... I should... I don't know, like... I was hoping the bomb would do the work, I just like didn't shoot, that was weird. Um, okay, we really do gotta fight to get the zone back now, so... Oh my god. Did the audio just like dip for a second? That was weird. I think Splatoon 1 did that a lot. Like there was weird like stuff where the audio would just like get quieter for no reason. Okay. We got our zone. I'm close to a strike. I didn't actually mean to booyah, but... <laughs> uh, oh wait, was someone... Yep, yep, there we go. Nice. Oh, cool. Boosh. Oh, what? Really? Was I weak enough that they were able to just tap me with the Hydra? <laughs> That's weird. Oh, uh, we lost our own zone. Probably not going to be over time unless they cap that right now. Nope. That was that was just a that was a good game. <laughs> that was a good game. I man. That's just so fun. That's just so fun. That, I just love that so much. <laughs> I wish this map was in Splatoon 3, like for real. <laughs> and it wasn't some just like weird small version of it. 
Do you actually not like the heights? I don't know how you cannot like that map. That map is so fun. I love the heights. Salt, Salt Spray Tower? Okay. <laughs> Salt Spray Zones, I feel like, is is more what I would go for. But uh, we can try it in Tower. It's better than Rainmaker. Salt Spray Rainmaker just ends in like two seconds, but Tower is kind of stupid. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, Salt Spray is still fun. Yeah, like the... Uh, I don't know. Splatoon 3 weapons and movements on Old Flounder would just be literally perfect. I don't know. Like, I almost wonder if there's like technical reasons. I just don't know. I mean, I'm so biased. I'm so biased by nostalgia, but I don't know what game designer is looking at Splatoon 1 Flounder and says, yeah, get rid of the routes. <laughs> It will, it will never make sense to me. Here we are on Salt Spray, where they said the whole map is routes. Um. Oh boy. Um. Oh my god, this tower moves so slow. Why does it move so slow on this one? <laughs> I thought the tower normally moves, I mean, it moves backwards faster. I know there's no checkpoints. I swear it doesn't normally move this slow. Oh shoot, uh, if I had my Kraken. No, 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 no. Shoot, I thought the strike would help me kill them. Well, it did, but I died. Please stop you from being alive. Okay. And then burst, and then it's gone. It's gone. Thank you. Okay. I have the special. I have the special. Okay, nice. Oh my god, I actually could have gotten pushed off there, but too close to the end. That map wasn't as good. Ah! I mean, I had fun. I, <laughs> I guess I won. So yeah, but... The tower path is really weird, yeah. And like... I think at, at a, like a higher level, like the problem with this map is that you just lock people out of the middle part and then you can all build your specials in like the big square part at the top. <laughs> Which I don't think that really happened that game, but it's just it's just weird. Zone searching. I do really just like the shooters, even in this game, like... <laughs> Actually, let's play a bucket. I like this bucket.
The lobby music is so chill in this game. Like, I like it a lot, <laughs> but I feel like... The contrast between how high energy the games are and then how chill the, <laughs> the lobby is is like... It's literally going from, like, rock music to reggae, I guess, so that makes sense, but... <laughs> Urchin Underpass. That's an E-leader, oh boy. <laughs> I, will, I will boo you back. Okay. Ah. Uh, cool. I'm out of ink, I'm out of ink. I threw a bomb and then tried to slosh. You cannot do that with a spot bomb. I mean, you, you could probably get one or two, but <laughs> not in that situation. Uh, ooh, that's a Kraken? Maybe? Not for much longer? Hopefully it stops being a Kraken when I slosh him? Okay, I actually, I will not really do a whole lot, but my team will help me out. Okay, thank you guys. How about I use this? Oh, the trees here always cut off your, your Zooka shots, I remember that. Shoot, I just I just missed. I knew he was there. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. Uh um maybe I love the little skirmishes you have on like weird parts of the map like that. I feel like this is a thing that like really mostly only happens in Splatoon 1. You get these like the 1v1 in the side alley of Urchin literally. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> I am victorious. Good game. I like Slosher. I forgot how fun Soda was. Oh, could we do like... Oh, we can do that. I was gonna say, can we do Black Belly Zones? Rainmaker Port Mackerel, okay. That's something. Actually, you know what? I, sh I should play for this. Port Mackerel is a funny map. <laughs> It feels like it shouldn't be good, but it kind of is fun to play on. See, we had the same idea. Yeah, I mean, you got wall and whale. On this map, it's kind of, kind of just what you gotta do. All right. Do do. Oh, 
Oh, okay, wow. Did not expect to get those right off the bat. Throw that out there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, shoot, really? We did, we did two whales on the left and right of... Uh, poor mackerel, and that still wasn't enough? What if you just can't go this way anymore? Oh, they, their shots still got through. Oh my god. I saved myself. <laughs> I forgot you could go up here. I tried it. I was going to wall jump, and you cannot wall jump in this game. You know I'm here, you do know I'm here. Not anymore. Well, you still know, but now you're dead. Oh my god, grab it. Um, shoot. <laughs> well, not a bad push by any means. Uh, don't know if we are going to be dunking that. Still got two people up. Got one person up. <laughs> I have stealth jump. It's so janky. It's so funny that they literally just had to prop up a piece of cardboard to <laughs> have the Rainmaker work on this map. Can you join? Um, the room is actually currently full, but maybe we could rotate people out. I guess we we haven't had the problem of having too many people until now, so we will we'll see at the end of the round. Uh, shoot. Oh yeah, that, this is the, the map I was playing on when my ceiling fan fell off of my ceiling and shattered into a million pieces on stream. I don't think, like, any of you guys would have been watching because this was a long time ago, but... <laughs> that was an interesting thing that happened once. Oh my god. Uh, uh, they all bubbles. <laughs> We're gonna need more splash walls and killer whales. There we go. I. Okay, second too late. <laughs> oh, they touched the wall. Uh, I'm not gonna jump in there. I did not mean to do that. I meant to... I was trying to do three different things in my mind. I'm like, I'll shoot through the wall and not pick up the Rainmaker, or I'll pick up the Rainmaker and go to the left. And I ended up picking up the Rainmaker and charging it. <laughs> ah, whoa. Hi. At least I got them dead. Um, Hopefully they know there's a spot thing there. Boom boom. Boom 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 boom. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that actually killed. Did not expect that. Saw you? Oh my god. <laughs> this Rainmaker is fun, dude. I do kind of miss this Rainmaker. Even that killed, because of course it did. <laughs> Oh, I didn't kill the Rainmaker. Shoot, uh... I was playing that a little too overconfident. 
Oh. Did someone just DC? At the very end? I thought I heard the sound effect. <laughs> Let me see. Do I have the ceiling fan video saved somewhere? I know my friend does. Oh, I went 20. Oh my god. Okay, we did lose someone. It wasn't it wasn't Pinky this time. It was someone else, I think. Than the than the other time. Oh, it was it. That person did DC, right? Okay. Um. Sorry, I probably should have said this earlier. Um. Let me, let me leave for a second. LYT, I don't know if you sent a friend request, but if you would like to join, um, you could, in the pin message, oh you did, probably. I assume this is you. I don't know if this is you, but I'm going to accept it. <laughs> um, and if it is you, then you will now be able to join. I guess we will find out. I'm trying to find the video of my ceiling fan falling down. That wasn't you. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, if you would like to send a friend request, feel free to do so. And I will... Oh, it was you. Okay, shoot. Um... <laughs> well... I guess we can just do a first come first serve. Um, <laughs> what did you ping me with? Oh, 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 the ceiling fan video. Thank you. <laughs> okay, hang on. Let me... How do you save a video on... There we go. <laughs> oh god, this video got so, like, low quality from so many people reposting it. Okay, wait, how do I- how do I put this? Um... So, back a long time ago... Actually, I don't remember why I was playing Splatoon 1. Um, but I... Wanted to... I don't know what I wanted to do. I, <laughs> for some reason, I was streaming Splatoon 1. I remember I was playing on Port Mackerel, and my ceiling fan, it wasn't at college. It was back at my, my house. You know, like, I lived with my parents, obviously. Um, and I... Sorry, how do you, how do you play a video on <laughs> OBS? I'm struggling to, to figure this out. I can't figure out how to play this. I'm sorry. I can maybe we can figure it out later. <laughs> we'll just play Splatoon for now. Could do a media source. Okay, I was trying to just play it because like, I opened it in a window. Because I think it'll just play automatically if I do a media source. And I wanted to have more control over it, but it's fine. Oh my god, why is it? Oh shoot, I don't know if you can hear it. No, you can't hear it. Okay, hang on. 
<laughs> oh my god. Hang on. My oh no, fan, you can't hear. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's loud. Oh, it's loud, probably. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I'm so bad at OBS. We're just gonna- we're just gonna- There's a funny video of my ceiling fan falling to my server. You can look there if you want to see it, because I don't know how to play it on stream. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry it's so loud. Oh my god. OBS makes everything so loud by default, and I don't understand why. <laughs> Okay, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> you thought it just had- yeah, my but I don't even have a ceiling fan in my dorm. I, I just- a ceiling fan spawned in and fell on top of me. <laughs> oh yeah. No problem, BD. Glad you had fun chilling and playing with us. Oh, a bunch of people are joining the server. Okay, wow. <laughs> I'm glad me annihilating your eardrums with the audio was not enough to scare you away. I don't actually know how loud it was. I just saw that it was in the red, so <laughs> probably too loud. Oh, okay. God, why? This map is so fun. <laughs> I really wish they brought back Anchovy in some form, whether the Splatoon 1 or 2 version. Nice. You were so weak. How did you not- oh my god. There we go. Cool. Nice. Mm, bum 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 dum bum dum. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum. This is also a banger. Hi, tight era, my beloved. I wish they returned. Ah, uh, not quite. Well, I got one of you. It's <laughs> so hard. There was a really good cover I heard of this. Um, I listened to for like a while. I'm, I'm actually trying to find that and send it. Wait, why can you- what? Why is there like half a route over here? That's so weird. That's so jank. Like, th that's- the worst thing about Splatoon maps is that they have weird like jank like that, where like for certain modes they just had to like put a bunch of blocks somewhere instead of like actually redesigning the terrain. Like, you know, once you learn the map that isn't a problem. <laughs> The Splatoon 3 maps are super polished, but they're so over-polished that they don't have any... Well, they, and they have some fun attributes, but I feel like they, you know... They, they saw down the rough edges a little too hard, I think. Or... You know what I mean. I don't, you, you get what I'm trying to say. I don't know if that was the right analogy or whatever. <laughs> oh, okay. That, that was not the thing to do. But, um... I see you. I did not kill you. <laughs> hey, guys. I was very confident that would kill, but it did not. Whoa there. Whoa there. Okay. Time that time. I feel like just the way I even like look at the maps is like, <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I know there's just so much discussion about Splatoon 3 map design and that was just not a thing I even remotely cared about <laughs> when I played Splatoon 1, but I just like, I don't look at these maps and like think about them as like video game levels. They just feel so much more like actual places. Even with whatever this is. <laughs> nice. Uh, 
Um, I, I'm, hmm. <laughs> Eilina, do you think, um, oh, oh, if you, I, we can also do that, Smack. Okay, sure. Um, I can host. Sorry, so Smack is gonna disband that one, and I will host, and then we can we should be able to get everyone in here. Why, well, Lena? Wait, we don't. <laughs> we need you. We need one of you to have eight people. So don't both people leave. Whichever, whichever one of you, Smack says. Okay, Smack is hungry. <laughs> um. Well, there was, um, LYT should be able to join now. I think, I think that's Isaiah. Uh, hopefully we get... Okay, there we go. So then... Eilina, if no one, if no one else can join... Which, if it now would be the time to mention, <laughs> if anyone else is currently in chat and wants to join, speak now. But if not, then yes, Eilina, um, if you could get back in, that would be nice. Uh, yes, also Dreaming Void. I, I do know about Pretendo. I, I'm i glad it exists, but I know you're probably just trying to spread the word to, to make sure it can actually be active. But um, Oh, there is a random button. Was there? There just was, right? Yeah, okay, I thought there wasn't for some reason. Um, but yes, Pretendo's cool. I don't, I'll probably use it, I don't know. Currently, currently just sticking with the real game, but. Glad it is an option. Um, let's see here, now, now I have to decide the things. Uh, Camp Triggerfish Rainmaker is a, uh, Pretty fun normally. Oh my god, I'm trying to. Very sensitive. All right, let's try it. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do random. Uh, random like zones would probably be okay. Although even that could give us like port mackerel, <laughs> which maybe we don't want. Uh, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm gonna steal this weapon. Do 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 do. So yeah, um, obviously the PB is still alive and well, so I'm not trying to end it early. I know I keep speaking about ending, but <laughs> um, this has already been like a four-hour stream, which is getting to, you know, getting on the long side for me. Um, I'll probably cut it off in like a half hour-ish, uh, if it doesn't die before then, because I would like to eat food and do some other things today, but obviously I really appreciate everyone being here and I hope we can still have some fun in the remaining time we have. And once again, I will be streaming on Monday, so look forward to that. And hopefully getting a video out uh, between now and then. Okay, ah, uh, this is always approach. Oh, nice. Ah, okay. Man, this map is so fun too. I really, I really miss Splatoon 1 maps. <laughs> I really, really wish we had more maps like this in 3. Uh, okay.
shoot. Um, 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 that is maybe not the best place to jump in, actually. Do they know I'm here? They might not need to know I'm here. I might just blow up. Uh, um, um, get me out, get me out. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was doomed from the start. Uh, oh boy. There are not enough of us up to stop this push from happening. Oh, maybe there are. Aim, aim was not there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, that actually got a kill. Uh, okay, nice. Hang on. I'm gonna go this way. Uh, I know this is maybe not... Ah, okay. As long as we got other people painting for me. Nice. Oh, that's a bomb, that's a bomb. Oh, okay, oh, wow. Okay, got two kills with that, though. Oh my god. This is always a weird... I love this, like... I don't know, when I think about Splatoon 1 maps versus other maps, <laughs> there's just spots like this where it's just like, it's just an interesting dynamic. Like having to do this like super long Great Bridge, like there just aren't other maps that like, do things like this. <laughs> and it's just, it's Splatoon 3 maps just don't like have like, you know, their own little set pieces like that, I feel like a lot of the time that kind of make them stand out. Like this is the whole like left side of the map. And it's, it's just so unique. Um. Okay. Whoa, 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 That was very close. I'm out of ink, I'm out of ink. Out of ink at a very bad time, out of ink at a very bad time. Ink refill, thank you, Echolocator. And then I, and then I just, you know, at least the bomb killed. At least, at least the bomb. I don't even know how I managed to walk off the map there. I don't know. I don't know how I did that. But we're going right back in. Oh my god. Right back into death. Cool. We do have the lead, so I don't need to panic that much. <laughs> uh... Okay. I'm trying to, like, focus, because I... <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's... This, the games are actually pretty balanced right now. I'm gonna grab it and run, grab it and run, grab it and run. Nice. <laughs> Easy. I have a little bit less to say when we're playing because I feel like a lot of the people in chat are, are in the game, <laughs> so you guys can't type. But, uh... Yeah, the, the games are very fun. I was confused which jet had echo and then you remember this before they split the dual skull turn in half, yeah. Um, excellent zones on something. Oh, we haven't done zones Mahi yet. That's kind of fun. Oh my god, I'm not, I'm just trying to press down my D-pad. The buttons are so sensitive in this game. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> thank you. Jeez. 
They are small fellas. Yeah, they look, they look goofy. They sure are rendered. <laughs> I I like them. I, there's parts of the the new models look really good with like the eyes and stuff. I feel like like the mouths look weird for some reason. Like sometimes they'll do like the weird like wavy line mouth. Like I I don't know. I don't really love that. So I still I still like the look of the original models a lot. Ooh. This would be funny here. This will be fun here, I think. Yeah, I, I don't like when they do like the... The wide mouth in Splatoon 3. I don't know, it looks it looks bad. I think like... It looks norm if fine in motion normally. There's just certain like... <laughs> certain frames of it that don't look great. Okay. Oh, this will be fun actually. I like I like this weapon on this map a lot, I think. I really miss permanent ink brush. I just wish ink brush did more damage. I kinda was able to relive some of the joy uh with paintbrush, but it's it's not quite the same. They gave it Kraken, maybe. They need to give any brush Kraken. Because Octobrush and Ink Brush have Kraken in this game, and they they've not gotten that in three. Yeah, the, I like the, I mean, this map in particular, I think, <laughs> um, is has like very minimal shading. Like most of the maps in the game have like baked shadows, but like, I mean, they're kind of here on this map, but um, I think just to save on resources, it's like kind of very flat. But yeah, the, the ink has like the matte texture, which I, which I was saying earlier, I actually kind of prefer it um, gameplay wise. Oh my God, that was good cracking. Um, <laughs> Uh, it, it completely disregarding aesthetics, I just think gameplay-wise, uh, it's a lot more clear what's happening. Like, gameplay clarity, I guess, uh, was the term I used, but I don't know. I feel like it's kind of easier to read. Rat of Pain sounds like a Dark Souls boss. Yeah, a little bit. Oh my god. Okay, at least the water level changed. Let's not fumble this this time, thank you. Oh, I love that flank. Oh, that flank is so cool. Oh, I love Splatoon 1 map design. Oh, I should have popped the Kraken. I might have actually survived. Bada bada bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. Oh boy. Um. Oh my god. I just forgot how big the radius of that is. Mboosh. 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 Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> that was stupid. Sorry. Sorry. Oh my god. I... <laughs> Putting my control down for a second for some reason. Um. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa there. Whoa there. Whoa there. Whoa there. Get me out of here. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> oh my god. What are? Okay, that was probably an accident. <laughs> oh, they probably tried jumping to me. <laughs> uh. Okay. All four of them are in our sights. Oh, that's a bubble. Oh, your bubble's gone. Oh, your bubble's gone. Uh. Maybe don't run at all of them. <laughs> Maybe don't run at all of them when my Kraken is about to run out. Possibly a bad idea. Possibly not gonna work. Actually, that kind of mostly very much did work for us. Oh my god. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Inkrush is so fun in this game. Oh, that's a Zuka. I'm out of ink! I'm out of ink! <laughs> Fair enough. Bum, 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 ba -da -ba -da bum, bum, bum. Okay, geez, just got stuck in ink. Might be worth running ink resistance on this, actually. I don't know. I mean, it has the passive effect. I think? Or does it not in this game? I don't remember. I can't remember if it's in every game, but normally ink brush has like an effect where 
you're able to kind of walk into enemy ink while running with it and it won't damage you like normal. I forget if that is a two and three exclusive thing. You think it does? Okay. Uh. Oh my god, just barely. Just barely, just barely, just barely. Hide. <laughs> I love Kraken, dude. Nice. Nice, wow, that was a really good, um, take of the zone, I guess. <laughs> Hello, what is your name? Yeah, I guess that's my question too, but welcome to the stream. <laughs> oh, man. Doo -doo. Uh, whoa there. Okay, got lead. Nice. Nice. I will booyah. GG. <laughs> oh my god. Mahi is so fun, dude. I feel like good tower maps are harder to come by. Eh, Wallace, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we want to play it. Actually, I kind of want to do tower arowana. I kind of, I kind of, I kind of want to, are we okay with this? <laughs> I don't know. I think we got to try it. I already clicked the button, so we're going to try it. I am trying to just press, okay, I put myself on Bravo on accident. <laughs> this map is interesting. I'm not going to say this is one of the greats, but it's kind of funny. I like Arowana. I have fond memories of it. I don't know if it would hold up in 3, necessarily. Her name is a government secret, alright. Fair enough. Do 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 do. Ugh. Oh, that that shot is nostalgic. Wow. Everyone was a pretty early S one map, right? Was it? Yeah, because there was a beta. I forget if it was at launch? I think it was at launch. Man. Oh, they don't have the block here. Oh, shoot. Okay. Whoa. I like- I remember saying- thinking that I liked this mid better. Oh my god. <laughs> they switched up the, the shape of mid in Splatoon 2. I don't know if my opinion... Uh... Is still that, <laughs> but I remember thinking that at the time when it was added to Splatoon 2. Oh my god. Playing this time with the Wii Classic controller? Does that, like, work? I mean, obviously it doesn't, you, you don't have the map and you can't super jump and you can't use Ink Strike, but I, I thought it didn't even let you use controllers other than the gamepad. Um, shoot. Okay, good. Oh, local. I, I didn't know this map was in the local mode. I've only seen... I've never played it myself, so I've only ever seen footage of it because I didn't have... I didn't have a Wii U Pro controller. Or a classic controller. Uh... I've only seen gameplay on Urchin, I think. The Sendo's Burger map? Most of what I remember from the Sendo's Burger video is just them waiting on the, <laughs> the lobby screen, so I guess I didn't remember the map. 
Yeah, I, I'm, I kind of know how it works. I just didn't know, um... I thought you were limited to just, like, a, a couple of maps. I mean, you probably are, but I... I thought it was literally just, like, Urchin and Blackbelly or something. I've never seen on Arowana. Nice. Oh my god. Ah, oh, shoot. Um... Chance we still knock out here if enough of us survive. I'm not sure exactly where this is taking me. Any map, any... Oh, really? I thought you only had to play the, the weird balloon mode. Oh my god. Accept my friend request or bad things will happen? Okay. So many years, you know, yeah, I mean, I, again, I haven't played it myself, but I'm, I thought you were locked to just the balloon game mode because, I mean, you wouldn't be able to do a bunch of normal functions normally, like using strike and super jump again. Yeah, it's probably just like Urchin, Blackbelly, Arowana. Um, was Walleye a launch map? Yeah, I think it was. Because it was in all the trailers. Um, yes, Eilina, if you don't mind leaving <laughs> so we could let Dilf in. <laughs> Um, which also means I have to, unfortunately, remake the room really quick. Um, so all you guys can rejoin. We're not- we're not ending yet. Um, but I'm just going to accept this friend request. And then we will continue. The tuna can or the bean can? Whichever can your heart desires. I'm actually going to run to the bathroom again really quick. Uh, I've been drinking a lot of water. Um, let people join back in. So, see you in a sec. Oh, hello. I'm back. Talking about beans. Beans and tuna are terrible, and together they fuse to make super terrible. Probably. 
I don't I don't really eat beans. I don't think I've, I don't know if I've ever had tuna. Um, we just played tower. Right? Yes, so we should play Rainmaker. Um mm -mm. Rainmaker Kelp Dome was an experience. Um Oh, Rainmaker Bluefin! I like this. I hang on. I know Bluefin's in three, but it's not it's not quite the same. It's not it's really not quite the same, especially in Rainmaker, so I think we oughta oughta give it a try. I'm gonna try this. I like the beans that are green. Rainmaker salt spray. We can we can give it a shot at some point. Um. <laughs> I still love the way this map looks. I talk about it a lot, but <laughs> it's like one of my favorite maps aesthetically in the series. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was not... Thank you. Not how that was supposed to go. Bum, bum, bum. Uh... Here we go. Oh my god! But I didn't... <laughs> I did not think I was gonna touch the wall. Okay, I don't even know. I feel like I said oh my god for a different reason than me getting knocked off, but I like, forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't- I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that was very overwhelming. For some reason. There we go. Not be having food discussions at midnight? Yeah. Oh, uh... Is Aloha... AFK? Maybe their- their gamepad died or something? I don't know. Um, I guess I did BRB, so maybe they BRB'd. Well, that was a very fast- wait, and then we won? That was- why was that so fast? <laughs> I feel like that's normally not a map that ends that quickly. I didn't even see what happened. <laughs> uh. Okay. Well, that that was that, I guess. <laughs> I kind of want to do Zones Flounder again, if I'm being honest. Would anyone complain if I did Zones Flounder again? Or are we good with this? <laughs> Oh. Someone is gone. Um. So, Eileen, if you're still here. <laughs> are we sorry? I mean, I, I don't know. I don't want to replace them if they are going to say something, but. Who was Aloha in Twitch chat again? Uh, not Twitch chat, this is YouTube chat. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, sorry, I forget I forget what their name was because I don't think it was the same in chat and I... Did they, did they say anything? I don't know I said Twitch chat. I... Yes, hello Twitch chat. Um I'm just not sure what we should do now. I'd like to do like a couple more games. Um so hopefully we can get an eighth person. Eilina, if you don't mind. <laughs> or smack. Are, are you on the game smack? Or did you leave? Okay, Eileen is coming back. Okay. Thank you. Uh, 
Um, I'll probably only do, let's say, three more games. Just so we have a, a number. <laughs> um, I would play Splatoon 1 all day if I could, but there are some other things I would like to do with my life. Unfortunately. And things I have to do, unfortunately. <laughs> Sorry, let me actually check one of those things right now. Trying to think of anything we can say while we are waiting. <laughs> oh wait a minute, what? <laughs> My, Mike Mike Buff went into Twitch chat and said hi Twitch chat. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh there, there's Elena. There's Elena. Okay. You play. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Sometimes it plays that sound effect again. I don't know why it does that. Oh my god. It's funny that you can't effectively just talk in Twitch chat, and I like I still see that in OBS, like while I'm streaming. <laughs> Even if it's on YouTube. Uh, I don't think that one displays on the screen though. Oh it does. Huh. Okay, well. <laughs> Alright, there's a hang on. This exists. Let's, let's do this. Yeah, so I have... The actual preview screen I have is pretty small because of everything else on the screen. Blunder Heights! Zones. Let's do it. Do 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 do. Oh my goodness, I was obliterated by a dynamo. What? <laughs> Drake is at work. True. Um, <laughs> what are you picking for Splatfest to give you an essay explaining your decision? I'd be curious to hear too. That smack ass that. I don't. I don't have a a stance yet. So. I'd be willing to hear anyone's justification. Um, got the trade at least. Oh god. I play as an inkling. I mean, in this game you have to, but <laughs> I always play as an inkling. I tried Octolings for a good while when they came out in Octo Expansion, but inkling, inkling is what I go back to. Freddy Fast Knights. Yeah. Knock them off, knock them off, knock them off. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> I... that was just a desperate attempt to do something. <laughs> I didn't even look at the gamepad, I'll be honest, I just tapped. Oh! Oh my god. Yes. That went surprisingly well, considering the circumstances. Goodbye. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> I'm never ready for Eileen's dynamo. Was anyone picking the team, like, chicks? 
the little chicks. I feel like that's just like a weird. I don't really know anyone who's like particularly into like little chicks as like a cute animal thing. I feel like that one's kind of random. Oh my god. Oh, oh, well, there we go. I guess there is. <laughs> there is support for the team. Why are what, more people typed in the Twitch chat? <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Call this guy Kyo's McCloud? No. Okay, now uh, apparently there's a lot of support for Team Chicks. My bad in assuming, I guess. Chicks are I don't I don't see baby chicks. I don't know. Again, I'm not I'm just not like a huge <laughs> I don't know. I always found like I, I feel like I sound evil when I say I'm not an animal person. Like I don't I don't <laughs> I don't care about tiny cute animals. Like I just I it's I don't care. <laughs> I do not have any any thoughts. Um how dare you? What do we want to do tower control? Tower control. Oh my god. I forgot I have alerts for following on Twitch. <laughs> it scared me. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> No, it's not. Ch <laughs> yeah, if there was a team chicks meaning woman, sure, I'm, I bet a lot of people would be on that team. But <laughs> that's not what it is. Hammerhead Rainmaker. Um, sure. I <laughs> let's just let's just do whatever people want to do. I mean, this one. Do we want to do that? I don't know. Ban this guy from the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Wait, I'm mods. <laughs> I I like I don't know. I like dogs and cats. I don't really care about. I've never really thought bears were cute. Honestly, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Um. All I know about this map is that you want run speed. Oh my god, another thank you for the follows. I need to like turn that sound down or something. I, I can't even do that from here. I have to like open the Streamlabs thing. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about that. <laughs> I don't think it's that loud for you, but it always it scares me. Actually, that's not what I want. Um, That is what I want. Thank you, Charles, for the follow, by the way. <laughs> Revive the Twitch. I st I've been saying I'm going to figure out multi-streaming for like two months now, <laughs> and I keep not doing it. Um, I should do that at some point. It just like it, it killed the frame, the frames on the stream when I did it before, so. Thank you, Pinky. You greeted a pretty girl on the bus stop today, and she looked at you with the most deadpan stare for 1.5 seconds. Uh, Ripozo, I guess. Oh, uh, that's a dynamo. Oh my god, that worked. <laughs> Eileena, you probably feel like Omega buffed playing this game, actually, because you're a Dynamo main. That is like... I think that's the most improved weapon going from 3 back to 1. Oh god. Well, Range Blaster maybe? I mean, Range Blaster is not even bad in Splatoon 3. Oh my god. It's just not, like, insane anymore. <laughs> they must be confused by a child who's talking to them. No! You didn't, you didn't have to <laughs> destroy her like that. Oh my god. Do they know? They do not know. Whoa, lag? Hello? Okay, goodbye. That was not even the Zuka that killed you. Nice! Oh my god, I love doing that. 
Oh, shoot. Okay, we live, we live. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I accidentally exposed you while trying to run away. <laughs> do, 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 do. She knows they're the same age. I mean, she's the weird one for just staring at you and not being friendly. I don't think you should feel bad. Oh! Jeez. As much as killer whales scare me, I love, like, dodging them, like... <laughs> I, I talked about this, like, a long time ago, I think, but, like, the thing with Splatoon 1 special is that, is that, like... Avoiding them... Not even always, like, counterplay. Like, obviously, like, you know, defeating someone using a special is always, like, a fun thing. But in Splatoon 1, even just, like, avoiding the specials is fun. <laughs> like, it's not fun to avoid missiles. They're just annoying. It's not really fun to avoid, like, Stingray or Whale. Or, um... Splatoon 3's version of Whale, but <laughs> in Splatoon 1, it's literally just, like, fun to, like, run away from stuff somehow. Oh, God. And again, that's partly just because the movement around the maps is fun, I guess. You see a Kraken, and then you just turn around and get to do a whole, like, platforming obstacle course. Oh! I just died to a bomb. High Tide Era is truly the goaded band. I'm so sad we may never see them again. Or hear them, rather. How did you get there? Stay back. Uh, hello. Oh my god. Oh, that worked out. Kind of. Uh, sort of. <laughs> I, I don't know. It just, it lasts too long. I think the thing with Splatoon 1 specials is like, you see a thing to do and you just do it instantly. The whale, you have to wait out the whale's duration. Like, I know you can just move, like, slowly and, like... Like, missiles are annoying because they're good. <laughs> and they force you to move for such a long amount of time and deal chip damage, but Whale is just kind of, like, annoying, because it's, like, it's not even doing that much, it just makes you go a little bit to the right. <laughs> it's not, like, scary. I Part of it is just how strong the Splatoon 1 specials are, I think. That you're, you know, you feel genuinely threatened by them. And Splatoon 3 is not that far off. Oh my god, that was cool. Um, Like, things like Zooka are super strong. So... If they, but Zuka, Zuka's like overtuned right now in Splatoon 3. Like, Zuka's almost stronger in Splatoon 3 than it is in Splatoon 1 right now. <laughs> so, if they added the like startup lag so you heard the Zuka sound and then you could get behind cover, that would be just as fun as Splatoon 1. I f I'm pretty sure I knew Dan was left handed. I feel like that's come up before. He has, he has left handed person vibes, I feel like. I am doomed. <laughs> no, you're fine. Um. Okay, I might, I might end it here. Um, or like one more, one more game, and then end it. Should we do like a? I don't know. What, what do you guys want the finale to be? I guess I'll, I'll, I'll hear some suggestions. I don't want to end on Salt Spray Rainmaker. We could do Heights. I'm okay with Ponder Height Zones again, honestly. <laughs> Urgent Underpass felt like the kind of more poetic one. Well, again, this isn't the end end. It's just the end for today. I'll play on Monday. I 
I heard two two votes two uh, two votes for flounder. Eh, I don't want to. I don't want to end on museum. I mean, I know museum is pretty different in this game, but it's still it's in Splatoon three. I definitely want to end on an ex exclusive. And yes, I'm counting flounder as an exclusive because it's basically a different map. Um. <laughs> Like, I feel like Flounder or Mahi. I don't know. Maybe I should just do Flounder Zones. I feel like <laughs> chat is not very um decisive right now. Flounder lows. It's not even the height. I mean, the height is a part of why I like it less, but it's just like... You just can't go right. The right side of the map is just not there. Okay, let, let's do Flounder. Let's do Flounder. Uh, let's give, we can do Kelp Dome Monday, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think this is yeah to end it. I can just press up. I need to remember that I can just press up and not do that every time. But this is the last time for today. Okay, what are we doing? Um, the good old. I might just go back to this. <laughs> that was working pretty well before. Okay. Actually, actually, actually. This was the weapon I played a lot. I know this weapon isn't particularly good, but back in Splatoon 1, this was like, for some reason, I mained Orange Zap when I was like super young. So. I'll end it. I, again, it's not the very last one, but might as well finish it off. Have you. Why are you trying to get me to play Arrow Spray? <laughs> I barely touched Aerospray in any of the Splatoon games. I just, I don't even know when you sent that. If enough people follow, we unlock Glenn Twitchler. <laughs> you just asked? Okay, I don't know. I'm, I'm not an Aerospray fan. Whoa, I thought I would climb the wall before they got to me, I guess. I got stuck in the ink. <laughs> Did Eileen play Koro Koro? I mean, Dynamo is better, so... <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, Sprinkler in this game is actually good. I should be using a lot of these, actually. Oh, shoot. Cool. I should have aimed better. I'm not sure what was going on there if they were okay. Maybe I shouldn't have killed them. Um <laughs> Oh hello. I they Krakens. Oh my god. Oh, your gamepad died. Oh, that's what happened. Okay, well, a little bit of an anticlimactic game, I guess, but it was still fun. Um, I really, I really do need to go now, so I will end it there, but... <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out. This has been really fun. I mean, this is... <laughs> I've returned back to Splatoon 1 a few times, but this was like... This is very fun. Dude, getting... Dude, no. Val. <laughs> Being able to do a full PV and really play, like, the maps and modes we wanted to play. Um, even just that rotation I had at the start um, was really fun. Um, I'm really glad everyone was able to play, was able to play. Um, 
I don't know. I don't know. It was a good time. Um, most of you probably know already because a bunch of you joined earlier, but there is a Discord server if any of you wanted to join and hang out and talk about Splatoon. Especially as Splatoon 1 dies this Monday. I will be streaming again this Monday. Um, I don't know how many of my friends are going to like show up and play, <laughs> but I would like to, you know, I don't know how much room there would be for viewers because I want to be playing with my friends when the game dies, but um, if you guys want to hang out and, and see, you know, give our farewells to Splatoon 1 together, that will be the time. Um, you'll be at work? Oh, that sucks. Eclipse is gonna get Yeah, it's really cool that Splatoon 1 dies on the Eclipse Day. Like, I don't know. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. It just sounds kind of cool and poetic, maybe. But, <laughs> um, yeah. I guess I'll, I'll probably say you know, say the words I have to say on Monday. But Splatoon 1 obviously is a game that means a lot to me. Um, it will be sad to see it go officially. I know Pretendo exists, but we don't know how, you know, good that's actually going to be at matching people. We don't know if Nintendo will just, like, take it down someday, so... It still is the end of an era. Um, of course, Splatoon 1 kind of ended a while ago in, in reality, but... Still has always been a thing we could return to. So, it will be a little weird to have it be gone, but... For now, um, obviously, still have a couple days left to enjoy it, so... Wait, what are you talking about? Diarrhea? Did that post get deleted? <laughs> okay, I don't know what you just said. <laughs> that was weird. But... Regardless, that is the end of the stream for today. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you in a video and a stream on Monday. Farewell.